Hello. Hi, it's me. What's, what's going on? Hi, I'm Viv. I, I, I stream video games on the internet. Can you believe it? Neither can I. Um, so... Hold on. I just want to make sure of something. Okay, I just wanted to hear if, like, music was coming through, because apparently, like, my headphones don't have anything set on. No, it's my headset. Okay. Sorry, this thing freaks me out, because it's so persnickety some goddamn times. Anyway, um... So, we're just playing Ace Train today. We're gonna play it for a little bit, because, uh... Someone, uh, one of my friends is, like, uh, back to streaming, so I want to kind of, um... Give her back to their thing. Um, <laughs> hell yeah! Listen. I'm gonna sue the pants off of, uh... Grandpa's gonna sue the pants off of Santa. This shim's gonna get DMCA'd. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're taking. A, we're not doing Sonic Battle tonight, and that's, and that's uh, for two reasons. One, I have to go back and grind. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. And two, um, I don't know, I don't want to stream that long today. Not for not because I don't like it, it's because uh, someone else is alive today that I want to give uh, a little bit of more visibility to. So we're just gonna play it for a little bit. Uh... You like the stream? Hang out. We'll be back tomorrow with hopefully a longer stream. Uh, we're just, you know, I, I just, I, I don't like missing days. Don't like it. Anyway, uh, uh, let's figure out what's going on here. So when we last left off, um, there was a murder. Somebody got murdered. So we have to figure out, uh, who, the who, what, when, where, and why. And we don't only know that, we only know the who. It was, uh, what's his name? I'll, I'll remember everybody's name when I'm actually in the game, but uh, it's been a minute. Let me, uh... There we go. Okay, so... Let's see here. Right, this guy got whacked. Juan Corrida. And apparently, um, it was Matt on guard. I don't know everything about it, so we have to find out more information. Next is talk. Matt is the most energetic. <laughs> I've tried to remember these voices too. Matt is the most energetic and active a actor out there right now. The Nickel Samurai really sealed this place as a pop idol, but he kept adding food to the fire with his rivalry with Juan anyway. Mr. Juan, he's a gem and ninja, right? Those two would butt heads over everything they could think of. But I'd say that Matt was the one who almost always came out on top. Yeah, some people only know to relate to others by butting heads like a ram. Juan well, Tilly takes Matt on his time too, so he joined uh, on this on this time too, so he joined a rival TV show, and that was the Gem and Ninja, the stylish Nickel Samurai, and the Burning Bur Gem and Ninja. Well, things turn messy real fast in those TV shows for their war. And the final tally, look around, it's pretty obvious how things ended up. And I even won the Grand Prix this year. Guess the final win over his rival like this. Mr. Angar was supposed to have a press conference, was he? That's what I heard. Though, if you want to get technical about it, it was the Nickel Samurai's conference. Nickel Samurai? Yeah, he was supposed to wear this costume and give a press conference that way. He's going to be in costume? But why? I'm not sure. They don't keep me in the loop anymore. Um, I was just wondering, where's Mr. Maya? She's been gone a long time. Now that she mentions it, Maya was only going to answer a phone call. Maybe she got lost. I'll take a quick look around for her. Yeah. I, I I don't doubt that either. Ah! What is it, Mr. Nick? Huh? I I'm not sure. I'm from this transceiver. Yes. Hello. Right here. Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney? And you are? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerning yourself with, such as help, Nick. Uh oh. Mystic Maya. Maya? So, Mr. Wright. Wouldn't you agree that the more important issue is the fate of the girl? The fate? Is this what I think he means? Maya, where are you? Are you hurt? Come now. Don't fall apart on me yet. This... No! This can't be! Now that I have your attention, Mr. I have a modest proposal for you. If you do what I require, then I will turn you your valuable item unharmed. What is this called again in your fancy lawyer terms? Kidnapping for ransom. Yes, that's it. This is a kidnapping. <laughs> wow. 
we really get the ball rolling in the first 11 minutes of the stream. Not even 11, like 6. Ah! Mr. Maya! Mr. Maya! In my sight, everything's fading away. Maya! Maya! Maya's been kidnapped! Are you there? Mr. Attorney, are you there? How much? How much do you want? Very good, Mr. I'm glad you have such a good grasp of the situation. Prepare to state your condition, then return Maya! Money is not what I seek. What? What I want is a certain verdict. I would like a complete acquittal. A complete acquittal? What in the world have you done to me? I am not the person you will be representing. What? You are currently at the Gatewater Hotel, are you not? And I know that a murder has just taken place there. I agree with still, and the suspect is mad on guard. You are, as expected, quite on top of things. Now, what I want is very simple. I want you to obtain a complete acquittal for Matt on guard. Matt on guard? But why? He did not kill anyone. I can attest to that. However... However? However what? However, someone is trimming him for the murder. A very smart someone who is setting him up to take the fall. If I agree and do what he wants, can I believe you'll keep his end of the bargain? You are, of course, at liberty to take me at my word or not. However, there is one thing you can take as fact. Right now, your very precious item is with me in my possession. Help! Mm, Nick! Maya! You have two days. Of course, tonight you will be questioning with the police. But the trial is in two days. At that trial, you will win a not guilty verdict. Remember, you only have one chance. One chance, Mr. One? You expect me to get a not guilty in one trial day? Yes, exactly. I don't believe I was wrong. She should only me down. Ah! Oh, yes, that's right. Now that I am playing the role of the kidnapper, I can't touch the chance of and don't even think about calling the cops. Hmm, not great, but you get the idea. Damn it! Who the hell are you? Very well, I'll tell you that much. My name is The Killer. Jeff! Damn, it was Jeff the Killer all along who kidnapped Maya. Jeff the Killer. You found out it was that easy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm 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 going blanky mode, chat. You know, one of these days we can just get a, 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 a commission for someone to do like a really funny voice and just have a klaxon alarm that says like fucking going blanky mode, going blanky mode, and shit like that. That'd be stupid. I'd love that. Mr. Nick, where is Mystic Maya? She's been kidnapped. No, it's all my fault. Why am I with Mystic Maya? It's not your fault, bro. But it is, it is, Mystic Maya. You're right. I think we. I think we should tell the police what's going on. No, we can't do that. If we do, what, who knows what'll happen to Maya? Mr. Nick, what about the detective we saw earlier? Gumshoe. Yes, that's it. Come here, I'll be right, and I'll be right back. All right, I'll take care of Pearl. You're away. What? Ransom? Shh, not too loud. Ransom's complete acquittal for Matt on guard. Wait, the deal is complete acquittal in exchange for Maya? You mean? So this means that Matt on guard is obviously the killer, pal. No doubt about it. The guy said I don't. Mr. On guard is innocent. Do you believe what a kidnapper tells you, pal? I guess he has a point. If On guard really is innocent, then why the kidnapper? And on top of everything else, there's all this evidence we keep finding. Huh? The forensic team's having a field day back there. Um, but it's strange. There's so much evidence that it feels like something's wrong. There's too much evidence? Is that possible? Actually, didn't the kidnapper just think about On guard being set up? Anyway, looks like you won't believe me tonight, pal. Just sit tight and cooperate with the investigation. Tomorrow you can start yours. Alright. Isn't there another way? You also gotta be careful about pushing the kidnapper the wrong way. You're right. Oh, fucking... 0 to 100, so fast. Date, huh? Time, huh? Location, huh? Hmm. Ow, my head. Do I actually get to play as Maya? Oh, let's go. 10 out of 10 video game, let's go. Where, where am I? But I'm still in that hotel. What happened to me? Nick, Pearly! Come on, you guys, this isn't funny anymore. I see you've awoken. Ah! Who are you? Me? I am known as the killer. The killer? You mean like an assassin? I, I'm too young to die. Don't worry, you are not my target. For now, anyway. Ah! Nick! Nick! Where are you? Help 
me. Yes. Only one person can save you now, and that is Mr. Phoenix, right? Huh? What? It, Nick's going to save me? Calm down and be a good girl. Think of this as a business transaction. Uh, a business transaction? I'm going to contact him now. I hope you're cooperating with the player assigned to away. Nick. What's going to happen to me? Nick. Curly. Sis. <laughs> yeah, we, we went through this already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. March 21st, 8-11 a.m. Wright & Co. Law Offices. Good morning! Ah, morning, Pearls. Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, come on! Let's hurry and go see Mr. On Guard! You have to wait a bit, Pearls. Visiting hours don't start until 9 a.m., so... Oh, I see. Uh, Mystic Maya, if only- if only I had gone with you. Poor Pearl, she's been like this since last night. We managed to get home somehow yesterday evening. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe gently holding her by the hand and leading her here. But by the looks of it, I don't think Pearl's had any sleep at all last night. Mr. Nick! Mystic Maya, she's alright, right? Yeah, she's alright. Either way, I'm going to save her, you can trust me on that. Please, please help her. I'm only able to stay this comma collected, because Pearl's was doing the crying for both of us. Um, I have a thought. Huh? You're going to represent Mr. On Guard, aren't you? Yeah. I don't, really, I don't really seem to have a choice. Um, but what if... What if he is the real murderer? What would you do then, Mr. Nick? Would you fight to get a not guilty for a murderer to save Mystic Maya? Pearls. Let's talk to Mr. On Guard first, okay? We can think all the bad things we want, but it doesn't change a thing. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I... I can't stop thinking about it. That I'm uh, doing my own detective work, and that detective work is uh, deducing what I want to eat for dinner. <laughs> I couldn't wait for visiting hours to start, so Pros and I came down here early to visit one nickel samurai charged with the murder of the jam and ninja. I haven't decided if I want to eat like eat one corn chip. I wish if I if I had any, I would. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to get, like, burgers. You know, I'm just gonna get Chinese. Fuck it. I don't, I don't feel like thinking about this too hard. Good morning. How are you today? I know this situation might be a little tough for you. Um, we're... Oh, sorry, dude. I already signed up. Excuse me? I already have life insurance, dude. I signed up a long time ago, so my job is, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not insurance salespeople. Really? Dude, I really don't need that right now either. Fire extinguishers. I mean, this building is my house, so. No, no, no. We're not here to sell you fire extinguishers either. I'm a lawyer. My name is Phoenix Wright. A lawyer? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask my manager, okay? Fucking... I hate how cool that is. I hate how cool that is. Nickel Samurai sure is a strange person, isn't he? I think strange is an understatement. Sorry about that. You're just in time. Huh? You're a lawyer, dude, right? My manager's looking for a good one right now. So how about it? Mr. Nick, this is our chance! I have to make him let me take his case. I have to! Try to intrude. I'd like to ask you for personal questions. Um, that's okay, but dude, my upper RV is coming out soon, so I can say stuff. If I say something the publisher to approve, I'm gonna be in real hot water. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask my publisher, okay? Mr. On Guard is so lucky. He has so many people he can talk to. Um, I don't know if he actually has an idea to talk to. Sorry about that. Like I thought, the publisher said it'd be a real bad if I said anything, dude. Does he have a mind of his own? Mr. Ungard, I'd like to ask you about the murder. Oh, are you covering this for a tabloid as a side job, dude? Um, um, well, if you want my statement on this, you should get asking my staff. No, 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 I'm not asking on behalf of the tabloid. Hold on a sec, I'm gonna ask the president of the studio, okay? Is he alright, Mr. Nick? If we're talking about On Guard's brain here, I wouldn't put my money on it. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
Sorry about that. The studio president said, even, even Neo Mount Fuji itself knows that I'm not the murderer. Um, is it Nick? What's Neo Mount Fuji? It's a mountain on the city of Neo Tokyo, the city Nickel Samurai protects. Alright. Sorry, I was placing an order. I have made an order for Chinese. 20% for 2 because I'm fucking nice. Alright, let me present this again. Mr. Rengar, this is an attorney's Dude, I'm sorry, but I don't have the free time to be looking at things like that. Huh? I'm much too busy with Nickel Samurai stuff right now. I don't have the time to take on a lawyer's correspondence course. I must believe my salesman. Insurance, then extinguishers, now this! Alright, what if I... Dude, I know I like to throw my money, throw money around, but it's not like I buy anything and everything. That's nice, it's not up for sale anyway. Alright, uh... What's that? Take it to the press conference. You're going to give one after winning the Grand Prix, right? Huh? Me? Yes, well, you're in costume and all this. Um, I never heard anything about that like that, dude. I only heard about the stage show. Why does that kind of stuff my manager? You didn't know? That's good. Okay, so you have that little tidbit. Um. Ah, uh, wait. Yeah, I don't wanna. I meant to press the wrong thing. So, profiles and. Man, it's too bad he's dead. Killed him. That's the most conclusion, don't you agree? Dude, what are you talking about? You're making a huge mistake. That's just a mistake. Then why do they issue an arrest warrant for you? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask the guy in charge of this place, okay? Stars should know a lot of people, don't they? I wonder if that phone even really gets reception in here. Probably not. Um, I guess you're right about the warrant after all. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe you might be making some progress here. Okay, so what else do I do here? Let me try presenting like uh his uh like his profile to him. What does that do? Yeah, I'm such a handsome devil. Uh, yeah. I'm way good at sports, karate, tennis, judo, soccer, football, hockey, fencing. Dude, it's no wonder I'm so popular. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be sitting in a jail cell, Mr. Pop. <laughs> He's so fucking funny! Oh, uh, I don't know if I can listen to Phoenix, like, I wish Phoenix would, like, say more things like that, because he's so funny. Oh, man. Um, what should I do now? I don't have anything else I can present. I don't know yet, but I figured it'd at least show us one. Is that a translator? Hey, it looks like a real nice one, too. That is a present from someone. Huh? Interesting. I've also been instructed to take your case. Is that what you heard from the translator? Yes. Dude, that's terrible! Don't let some disembodied voice bodies boss you around. It's coming from a man with a cell phone on his wrist. Well, dude, I think it's time for me to get going. Please, wait! I really need to take your case. There's always other people in need of a lawyer, right? Want me to introduce you to a few? Please, please let Mr. Dick represent you! Man, oh man, man, oh man, lawyers these days. I use these kids to pull in clients too. If you don't think he is a, if you don't think he's a lawyer, then the killer is going to Wait, what did you just say? The killer? The, the killer? What's he doing? He's like he's mowing something over. Alright, dude. I accept your term. Huh? Well, you represent me in court. We did it! We did it, Mr. Nick! Uh, yeah. I don't feel any better for it. I didn't look too happy either. Go ahead, ask me anything. I'll have it as much as I can. Alright. And I think I'll let your star people know my man. Well, you're quite the hero, and you're in the national spotlight. I didn't know who he is. Does he mean I'm not a good citizen? Ah, uh, it's really great to be the Knuckle Samurai. Dude, lately I just keep on getting more and more popular. True enough. The Nickel Samurai is very popular among high schoolers and secretaries right now. Two very interesting and, like, distinct demographics. I guess it's the wrong guard as a way of catching the eyes of women. You know my motto? Refreshing like a spring breeze. That's what I am. A spring breeze? I wonder if that's like a joke on his, like, Japanese man. That's 
wave, and this kind of going to look disastrous, dude. I mean, even if I get out of here tomorrow, it's still gonna look bad. Everyone loves a good scandal. Can you tell me about your activities last night? I sort of got the award. I took a break and went back to my room. I had that post ceremony stage show. There. Okay, wait, didn't he say he didn't know anything about that? Oh, so this is my nickel samurai. You were alone the entire time? My manager was running around being busy, so yeah. This is a press conference. You were supposed to be. This is the press conference supposed to hold up the show? I told you, dude. I have no idea about any press conference, alright? But you just. That's strange. I thought you, Nicholas Samurai, was going to confess. Anyway, when I was leaving my room, that's when I noticed that it was, was kind of noisy. Miss Carita's already dead at that time? Yeah, that's what I gathered anyway from my manager. I'm getting to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. I'm some detective in a green coat for me. He searched me. And then, out of the blue, the dude arrested me. About you and the victim, Mr. Juan Carita, what sort of... It's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, with that face of his, you can't even tell he's the same age. And he wanted to try to make a German ninja movie, even though we all know it failed. That samurai still won in the end, right? Yeah, I took the Grand Prix by storm. Why would I, the winner, have any reason to kill the guy anyway? Dude, you'd think it'd be there all the way around, you know? He makes a good point. He makes a very good point. Um, do you know why you were arrested? I guess maybe my full body search went badly. Did they find something on you? They found a button from the Gemma Ninja's costume. Button? I don't get it either. I was caught in the place of my samurai pants, or Hakama. Hmm. Ah! Dude, I really think someone planned it there, though. I'm serious. I wonder if that's what really happened. This is about all I'm gonna get out of him. Mr. Nick? Yeah? Let's ask one last thing. This is Mr. On Guard to see if he really is innocent or not. We can do that? Yes. If you use this, I have some Magatama. You won't be able to hide any secrets from you, Mr. Nick. I'm sure of it. I get it. Mr. On Guard, I'd like to ask you one more question. Please answer me honestly. What is it, dude? Did you kill Mr. Juan Perita? Please put the phone away and answer this question yourself. Alright, just so we're clear, dude. I didn't kill anyone, and that includes Juan Carrito, okay? Interesting. Just telling the truth. What, Mr. Nick? Nothing. Not a chain or lock in sight. Which means... It's alright to trust him. Yeah, it does appear that way. Well, at least I can breathe a sigh of relief knowing my client is innocent. Um, the trial's tomorrow, right? I'm counting on you, dude. Hmm. So, we don't really have any evidence, and we're going into court now. This? Oh, wait, no, I have the investigation now. Okay, that's fine. March 21st, 11.34 a.m., Retin Co. Law Offices. Well, at least you were able to get Mr. On Guard as our client, and you know that he didn't do it, which is very important. So, so now what should we do? Well, the trial is tomorrow. That's, we only get one ch and we only get this one chance. And only to prove Mr. Argarn's innocence. We have to find the real killer. Okay, then let's start looking. Alright, let's see what we have uh, to explore. Let's go back here. First thing first. March 21st, get water hotel, hotel lobby. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't come without. Good morning. Hold on, it's you. What are you doing around on around? What's going on around here? Um uh, um, I heard poor Juan was killed. Is that true? It's a bad rerun is what this is. Another steel samurai doing the most evil of deeds. Um, you know, that's not entirely... I'm glad you know that I was a huge fan of Juan's. Why, oh, why do all the stars drop one by one like flies? It's always been that way. It was a little girl in elementary school. Oh, my God. Queen Reaper. Hi, Vs. Yeah, basically. I'm excited to see where it goes, because I haven't actually seen this all the way through. Um, actually, I wanted to ask you about the murder and what happened. <laughs> don't push me, boy! Um, Mr. Nick, I, um, I couldn't hear everything she said, because she was talking so fast. Miss Old Bag, could you please speak a little slower? Don't boss me around, you specky ears, mighty pants! <laughs> Oh god, I forgot how stupid that is. I love this game so much. My 
dear Hatma died a year ago in that dreadful murder. And only recently did I finally find a star that makes my this heart go ba dump again. I don't know what to say. I ask you, why does every star I cheer for always ends up kicking the bucket? Um, I'd watch your words. No one's getting away with anything saying. No one's getting away with. Yes, no one's getting away with saying anything bad about my Juan. I haven't said anything. Well, I don't believe a word that that woman says anyway. Huh? What woman? That irritating backwater girl with the afro and the horrible country accent. I mean, what is that manner of speaking supposed to be? And why does she never stop? Honestly, women these days, they don't know the meaning of the word of modesty. Girls, are you thirsty? Um, a little. Okay, I'll get some juice or something. Thank you very much. Hey, are you paying attention? I can stay. So I'm missing the soul back or everything from Lada. I want to ask you about what happened around the time of the murder. I don't know anything about that. I was here getting ready. Getting ready? For what? The show, of course. Well, and the press conference. I Cue mysterious music for the magical press conference. Anyway, I don't know anything about the murder. Oh, I see. But... But you're talking about what I saw. That's different. I saw it very clearly. What? I saw the most important moment of the night. Alright, what'd you see? The most important moment? You don't mean... Oh, so now you would respect you disrespectful child. Poor Phoenix. When you speak to your elders, you should always be polite. Really, kids. Please tell me, what did you see? Oh, for crying out loud. Four? Murder last night was gruesome, wasn't it? But then, what murder isn't? Please don't stray onto another tangent, please. Come on, get more. That's what you're expecting from this lady a present. <sighs> oh well. The investigation is still in full swing. The hotel staff and the police are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. I wonder if we can do any investigating of our own in this kind of atmosphere. Well, gotta roll up the sleeves and try, I guess. I'm hoping by the time I decide to put a kibosh on this for the day so I can uh, raid Mogs' channel and help my food get here. Uh, let's see. 6.50 and 7 o'clock. Okay. Hey! You're here! Been waiting for you, Mr. Lawyer! Lada. Hey! Mr. Catfella! The thief showed his face! What? Arrest him! Put him on trial! Found him guilty! Give him the death penalty! What's wrong, Lada? Are you feeling alright? Looked here and there and up the mountain, but it ain't here! Why don't you just hurry up and give it back to me, you creep? Uh, what are you looking for? My camera! C-A-M-E-R-A! -E My locklood! I'm gonna die without my $700 camera! Your camera? Look, don't lots of people say the criminal always go back to the scene of the crime? Lotta... You're great, but you're making a large leap in judgment. Considering the fact that, you know, Phoenix is a lawyer. And looky looky, here you are! Yep, here I am, faced with a lot of trouble. Ah! Good one. Huh? So you lost your camera? It ain't no ordinary camera. You buy it in a store and it's a $1,600 rent. Brand new! Huh? Didn't you just say you bought it for $700? I had a nice long time with the guy at the store. About five hours, I reckon. I made a city bitty scratch on it, the manager got all huffed up in the face. He gave me his talking, he gave me his talking, he gave me his talking to, and I was real mean about it. That made me cry at that. When did you lose your camera? Last night, after the murder happened. Must have been when I was busy running around looking into things. That's when I lost sight of my dear, darling, expensive sweetie. Lotto, what did you capture with that expensive camera of yours? I don't really know. I never shot of anything. That's the that just caught my eye. So I don't remember. And sad, couldn't get anything from my big scoop. I wonder if Lada's missing cameras in connected to the murder. It probably is, considering. Lotta, please tell me what you know about what happened at the time of the murder. Well, from before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around here in this area. Yeah, actually, I was here around from the time of Mr. Ongar was arrested. What are you doing here? I'm sure you went to school, city boy. Whenever Lotta Heart goes, there's a story to be found. A big scoop to be had. Big scoop? I told you before, I'm gonna be the best tabloid photographer this the world's ever seen. Freaking course, it means I'm always looking 
for the perfect shot? I wonder what scoop she was after this time. Although, I was also on the lookout for the other stars that were here. So, maybe I wasn't here the entire time. Lada, are you sure you weren't here the entire time? So you take a picture for your big scoop? Well, maybe I was, but that's what a real journalist do. I got some juicy inside info, so I thought to myself, wanna get a picture for proof? Ah, story was this? That you would hang around here. Oh lord, here we go. There's two now. Oop, sorry, Mr. Lore. Can't be telling you that. Trade secret, you know? Not again. Why does everyone why does everyone have something to hide? Stopped, haven't we? Ah yeah, take that, Mr. Lawyer. I'm glad someone around here is happy. Miss Lotta and your I rule smile. Alright. Let's start with uh on guard room. March twenty first, get water hotel, on guard's hotel room. Um, where are we? We're in Mr. Matt on guard's dressing room. This is our client's room. May I help you with something? Oh! Shit! I remember you! Um, uh, we're... You're Mr. On God's lawyer, correct? I gathered as much. I also looked for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Um, how did you know I'm his lawyer? You were just saying that he was your client. In a situation like this, the only person who would use such a word would be his lawyer. Sorry, I'm hearing screaming in the background, as always. Wow. It's a simple deduction, really. The trial is tomorrow, and Mr. Ongar's situation is looking rather grim. So you came here, one stop in your mind dash, to find clues to build this case, correct? Well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off, either. You're not the time to be showing off, Mr. Nick. I am Adrian Andrews, and you look gay as hell. You look like Zero Suit Samus if you, like her design wasn't shit. I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. Alright. Maybe you have small stature, but appearances can be deceiving. Alright, let's uh, talk first before I examine anything. I assume the first thing you need to know is that everyone was doing that night, correct? Yes, that is correct. Then I will tell you. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. Rangar. In this very room, I might have. Dinner? What did you eat? I told you, I hate to waste time with trifling details. If you took a look at the table yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. I bet it's just a lot of fun on car days. When the award show was starting, I headed for Viola Hall. And after the show ended, you came back to this room? No, I had some small errands to run. I have the preparation for the, I have the preparation for the lobby. I'm the preparation for the lobby. Oh, the post ceremony show. When it was time for the post ceremony show, I came back to call for Mr. Ungar. After that, I went to visit Mr. Karita, and that's when you found his body, isn't it? Really held strong through everything. Yeah, she does seem to be mentally tough as nails. Um, so about you and stuff right there. You aren't seriously about to ask how Mr. Ungar and I are related, are you? I have no idea how he could choose you as his lawyer. Choose you as his lawyer. I should have to go and see something like that. Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. I'll give you a shoulder up to relieve your stress later, alright? I already gave you my name in earlier, but I'll add that on the strong guard's manager. His manager. What do you mean manager? Should the victim Mr. Korea have one? No, he did not. He did. Global Studios is a very different policy from Worldwide Studios in that Worldwide Studios do not assign individual managers to their stars. This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. Actually, you look quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself, Mr. Your poor partner. Dragging a little girl like her to places like this, honestly. You're wrong! I- I'm doing this to help Mystic Maya! Girls, come down and hang in there. I'll buy you a juice later, alright? Mmm. There's some samurai looking clothes on the sofa here. Um, I think that jacket looking thing is called a hat. Whatever it is, I'm sure that something like that would make a great souvenir. I would be absolutely thrilled. <laughs> I I think that my favorite thing about like games like this when they're localized is that the like uh, is just characters who are like you know from Japan talking about things that are Japanese like they don't know what they are. Shit like that cracks me up. Looks like dishes left over from dinner. A dinner for two at that. Should have missed on guard and Miss Andrews' plates. They had T-bone steaks. What's the little studios of T-bone steaks? <laughs> that is a good point. Because there's T-bone steaks in the last case. Alright. Probably Miss on guard suitcase. Somebody was only going to be here for their award show. This is a lot of stuff. This is yet I've bought three days worth of clothes in here. Those are really different from us, aren't they? That's the bedroom over there. That's a bed? Wow, they 
of really big beds here. Okay. Anything else around here? Uh, there's that thing. There's this. Uh, oh, there's something else I could examine. I thought it changed. It's like, ah, there's a giant bone thing on the plate. I, I don't really like it. There's something weird about this plate. I might have to go with this. Yeah, that is weird. Alright, let's, uh, see. I think I'm gonna look at everything in this area room. Okay. Let's, uh, move on to the other room. Actually, let me, uh, see what she has to say about this. You're the one taking care of these arrangements for this press conference, right? Yes, that's right. But Mr. On Guard said he didn't know about it. Is that what he said? Huh? Actually, I didn't know all the details either. I was a request from the, public from the publicity department. All I did was help out and do what I was asked. Oh, I see. I'm gonna be the type of person to do something without knowing the details. Okay. I don't know if I actually know anything about the. I just know anything about that. Okay. So. Did you know anything about the camera? I'm curious. Okay, I don't know anything about the camera. Good stuff. Alright. But, uh. I guess I just know about Lada. Uh... Okay. So let's just move back to the hallway. Alright, so let's see what's in this room. Wow. This looks way different than the other room. Like, the other room was, like, so larger than life, and this room is just kind of... quaint by comparison. Poor guy. Mr. Nick, where are we? We're in Mr. Juan Carita's room, Pearls. Mr. Carita? The victim. Which makes this the crime scene, too. Oh, it's... Oh, it's you! So, what happened? The kidnapped! Has he counted you again? Not yet. He probably won't until we win Mr. Rengard's acquittal. Um, you doing okay, pal? Hanging in there? I just want my to be alright. We don't have a lot of time left. I'm gonna help you as much as I can, pal. Can you do that? You don't want to look around the crime scene? Just this one. Special circuit things, right, pal? I'll even tell you everything I know. Be quiet. It's my neck on the line here. Thank you. Oh, that's right. I got you guys a map of the hotel, pal. Here you go. Here you go, little missy. Wow, you're giving it to me? Thank you. <laughs> Who wants you to get lost in a hotel too big for its own good? Mr. Nick, I got a map. That's great, girls. Um, Mr. Nick? I can't read it. Says. Okay, let me, uh... Oh, no, 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 I want to look at, uh... Can I get to examine it? Okay. So, they're across the way from each other. The lobby is there. And there's a hotel guy map partial, and there's Viola Hall. Okay. Alright, let's talk to Gumshoe first. You know what the cause of death? Well, technically, the final autopsy report isn't out yet, but... What the victim should tell you, pal? It should. Yeah, here's a picture. Ouch. There's a knife there's a knife in his chest. Yeah, pal, that's the murder weapon. So we're stabbed to death. Look at the fingerprints on the lab right now. Are there are fingerprints on the knife? Yup. Hey look at them. Pretty sure they're Mr. Ungard's prince, pal. That's bad. Real bad. Why is Mr. Ungard arrested? Because we have evidence on because we have evidence on him. Evidence? It looks like the victim, Juan Garita, really put up a big fight. <laughs> yeah, I'm at the crime scene, you can tell. There's signs of struggle everywhere. Well, yeah. During the fight, his button came off. Sir Angarth's thinking about a button. Saying, like, one of the Gemma Ninja's buttons got caught in his hot But that's not all. What? There was a witness, pal. A witness? Who is it? That lady in this old bag. Please, anyone but her. The prosecution is plenty of evidence for the solid case. Not to mention there's been coming around with a bit. It's a little off. Frick was, it's a little off. It's a little off. As in. As in, that's for you to figure out, Belle. Alright, let's try to figure it out, Mr. Nick. Alright. Before I do anything, I just want to examine this room. This feels like a break.
break room more than a hotel room. There are all sorts of things in this refrigerator. A carrot juice bottle and tomato juice bottle are both empty. Perhaps we're throwing away. They're all vegetables. I guess he must have been a real health nut. Oh! There's a, there's a beet, some ketchup, and a bottle of strawberry jam, too. And gray was his favorite color? Hmm. This one like blood? Wow, there are a lot of bears! Alarm clock ones, collector's editions, stuffed teddies, plastic models. It's pretty overwhelming. Isn't there a kind, is there a kind of bear he doesn't have? There's even a few in the trash can. Yeah. I get the feeling maybe the guy didn't really, didn't like, really like bears. Poor teddy. So what's the bear with all these problems? Wow. <laughs> I don't think I want a bear with the trauma that last case caused me. You and me both, Nick! What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Hi, everybody! God, what if I just fucking... Hmm. It's so messy in here. <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna do the Dr. Nick voice. I, I am sorry. I would love to do it, but I, I can't sustain that and, like, actually take the game seriously. Crozier likes things neat and tidy, I take it. Oh, electronic things in here that I've never seen before. Hey, Mr. Nick, say what they are, pretty please. Okay, that over there is a watch. Right on your wrist. You know what a watch is. For a second there, I forgot I was talking with Pearls, not Maya. <laughs> Suitcase. There are so many things in, in it that I bet it barely closes. Is this clothes, a dryer, electric shaver, a calculator? Do all stars pack too much stuff in Mr. Korea? Why is there a rice cooker here? Uh. There's a phone. Mr. Korea had dinner last night. It's a bottle. It's tomato juice. We had a lot of food at the award show last night. I wonder if the stars had gone on stage after only eating a meager meal like this. So that's a bed, right? Yep. It's big, but it's a bed. Ah, Mr. Nick, it's so soft! Big beds must be a rarity for her. There's a phone over there. I don't know what it is about this controller, but sometimes I'm just moving the control stick and like my my directions just suddenly stop and I have no idea what the what the problem is with that. Alright. I was a cosmetic from Scat Girl the Floor. I thought it was Miss Korea fought as a sailor. What are these bits of glass? Flower vase, maybe? There are flowers on the floor, but I don't know what they are. I don't know much about flowers, do you, Mr. Nick? Wow. That felt really judgmental. A beautiful wine glass, and there's I don't even like it much. There's a bottle of them on the table over there. I'll tell you where this came from. But doesn't, but doesn't it seem weird? What's it here? I mean, everything else is scattered over the floor. She's right. The flower vase was broken and the makeup is strewn everywhere. Why is that glass in here still on the right? Okay. I'm representing with the missing camera. Okay. I'm <laughs> switch sides real fast, yeah. Okay, so we have that, we got that. Uh, is this what you saw me to look at? So about this wine glass. Ah, so you noticed it though. The whole crime scene was a mess, but this glass was the only thing that was untouched. You missed that too, did you have a No, I actually missed one common notice the voice. Pearl's noticed it before me, too. Hey, wait a minute. So, does that mean Miss Uncommon's here at the hotel? Yeah, she's around. Man, you're gonna be in so much trouble, pal. Especially if she catches you in here. Well, you can bet this into that sea I'll be running the house and eat her dash. Okay, so... Any other thing we can talk about? I don't really have any other evidence. Um... March 21st, get whatever hotel, Viola Hall. Oh, Mr. Rice! How are you? Ah, Mr. Powers. Have you been here the entire time? Yeah. You'll connect to the murder aren't allowed to go home, let alone leave. Can you tell me a little more about the Nickel Samurai TV show? Okay. The Nickel Samurai is an action hero program in towards kids. You see what are the Steel Samurai? 
see, this time there are three samurai brothers, aluminum samurai, tin samurai, and of course, the nickel samurai. It's a, it's a love Y and Neil Tokyo. Wait, a love what? A love Y? This girl, Sayo, looks at a tea shop, and all three guys fall for the same side. Oh, um, I guess the Y shape is the three brothers colliding over this one girl. Anyway, Sayo is the daughter of the evil strawberry clan leader. Sounds like an unusual situation, like Romeo and Juliet times three. Yeah. Strange thing is, this sort of forbidden love story is really big with the office ladies. Um, yes, Pearl? What happens next? I want to know! Miss Sayo, did Miss Sayo fall in love? She does, doesn't she? Every Sunday at 8 a.m. I'm going to stop watching kids' masterpiece theater starting this week. I can't believe she's really considering it. <laughs> so what's the Gemini Ninja TV show like? It started from a remake of an old movie type, Truth. Gemini Ninja, like the Samurai show, is geared towards kids. Yeah, it looks exactly like goddamn Kikaider, it driving me crazy. It's sort of a ninja who can't scale a wall, but became a big pop star anyway. Uh, what? He's a really lousy ninja. Absolutely couldn't do any ninja things right at all. But boy, could he sing! With his trusty bright red guitar in hand, he took the ancient world by school. A uh, ninja. With a bright red guitar? And then, the final fight in front of his beloved Princess Misola. Yeah, he does look like Shadow Man, but like. Just the, like a, a toku hero with a guitar just flashes Kikaider in my brain. Jammin vs. the Muromachi 5. Suddenly, our brave hero catches a not so jammin cold the night before Battle 3. Oh, that's too bad for him. Yeah. But this kind of pop music based love story is something high school girls really like. Um, yes, Pearl? What happens next? I wanna know! Jammin, the Jammin Ninja, will he be able to sing? What about Princess Isola? Every Sunday at 8 a.m. Um, what show should I watch? Hmm. I'm just really considering it. Okay. Let's see, is he seeing this? Okay. Uh. Okay, is there anything about that or that? I, I thought someone would at least know about the camera in some capacity, right? Get the evidence that I need. I mean, I guess we know that she saw the saw it happen, so I guess that's the uh, the next logical step was trying to uncover what she knows. But why for? Why for? We witnessed. All right, I'll be honest with you for now. Then please tell us what you saw. But aw, what a waste! And here I have plenty of good chance to have a little fun at Youngin's expense. I am a little devil. -like. Imply you aren't a good person. Alright, I get what you want. Uh. I think I have enough. Okay. So. What more do I need? I have a lot of things I think she'd be interested in, because I have the crime photo, I have the guide map. Let me see if there's anything else I need to explore. I'm gonna move back to the, uh... To, uh, Viola Hall. Actually, just to the, uh, the entrance place, just to see what's around here. The stage you're gonna use for the post-ceremony stage show. After the show, it's supposed to be a press conference, but... Mr. Ungard himself seems to know, huh? That's the person who's supposed to have a conscious I know about. Okay. They're all busy doing the same thing, setting up the end of the stage. Okay. I'm exploring a little bit now. Uh, a lot of what's a grand staircase always feels enormous. But right now, the only thing filling this room is the anxiety about the murder. I hope nothing else bad happens here. These are the spectators of the post ceremony show in the press conference. But it's too bad neither event is going to be held now. Hmm. The word ceremony was held in the show on that stage just last night. It was really fabulous. You should remind me of the circus for a second. Everyone is alright. Oi. 
We hit this table last night, didn't we? Yes. It's really happy then. She can make you smile again in for a second. Don't forget about this food yet. There's a sad feeling I'm gonna stand at the party is over. Let me just uh, double check everything. This one luxurious hotel, almost to the point of gaudy with how it blends together everything fancy imaginable. You know, fancy. Didn't the bellboy give me something like that last year? Yeah. Okay, so... so... That is such a beautiful sight. Chandelier? Yes, but I can't believe it. I can't believe such a terrible murder happened under such beautiful lights. Shocking. Alright, um... We ran to the doors over there. If the doors might have followed the bellboy out of only to disappear. We've all gone together. Right, let's check out uh, the hallway again. Mr. On Guard from the Global Studio staff. We're gonna have some lawyers got flyers here, and like, Mr. Wright for your plan. Yeah, they tell that. A piece of door, there's a piece of paper taped to that door that says, Man on guard. Mr. On guard is here during the break, right? That's what he claims. Hmm. Crimes. If you want to get to Mr. Reed, it's at the patch of this hallway. Okay, so you have that information. Compared to the flaws in the side of the hall, these are much more gorgeous. Like, record companies, fan clubs, and workers, and like, can only fly our home to be hard, I think. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. So I thought that was a nice little gal to lend help with hand. Secretly, of course. I have a feeling one of these days I'm gonna end, I'm gonna end up defending her in court. A piece of paper taped to this door that says Swan Free. So that's the scene of the murder, I reckon. I thought something like gone on that night. But I didn't even... didn't ever think it was murder. Okay, so we got that. So it's an from this hotel, but since all of this murder that... All sorts of events are held here. There are some people who aren't staying in the movies as well. Yeah. Alright, let me try to unearth, uh, up. Yeah. Be extra tough on you. Ma'am. Ma'am. You're great, but you need to knock that shit off of me. Be nice with kids. Become the, become the ground I walk upon. Well, please answer my questions. Out of the murder, why are you loading around the victim's room? I told you, didn't I? For my scoop! I want to know the details of this scoop. That's not something I can tell you. I mean, not there is my bread and butter! Alright then, and then, pleasant little tabloid photo looking for a scoop. I'm gonna say you're looking into a scandal. <sighs> Could it be the you lot of heart looking for a break with a huge story? It's an unfolding scandal between Juan Carita and this person. Who the heck is that? Um... You think us journalists are a bunch of idiots? You can't fool me. Alright, Matt on guard. I, I, I misread. Okay. Yeah, Moncrete and Matt on guard. That makes sense. Okay. Well, I guess I don't have enough evidence. However... You know the victim, Mr. Karita? Yes, I knew him. Well, it is such a small place, after all. You know about his rivalry with the Nickel Samurai? Honestly, they were like children when it came to life. Time and time again, those two competed with each other over the most trivial things. Either one of them wasn't so stubborn that maybe no one would have needed to die. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, I figure. Do you have any ideas? As to, as to why Miss Karita was murdered. I wish you was asking me about such a thing. I'm just doing my job. So, do you have any ideas? <laughs> Fucking lovely. Miss Andrews? Sorry, but there's nothing more that I've, I have to add to this conversation. Is this cyclo, Mr. Nick? Yes. There's, there's getting to be more and more of these lately. Yep, okay. So, I don't have enough evidence, I think, for... Anyone right now. <sighs> Alright, so I, I guess the only thing for it right now is to... Wait, do you know what? Uh, I mean, we are kind of out of the loop. Do you... Hey, that's Miss Andrews. She's Matt's manager. Actually, I was interested in her for a little bit. Just a little. Hmm. Power likes this type of woman. What do you know about Miss Andrews? Well, see, here's the thing. I don't really know know her. I really know her, know her. You know? There's sort of a small rumor going around about her right now. A rumor? Ah, 
if you're interested. I do gotta share what I know. So I have to look at the lion that just found his next meal. Poor powers. Do you mind telling me about this gossip? Ah, so you are interested in it. I figured it would be. Yeah. This is a weakness for celebrity gossip, too. Oh, really? You too, huh? Yeah, let's take a look at this. It's got tabloid Miss Old Bag read. Alright, let's see here. Jammin' Midnight Rendezvous. It's a mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss AA. You see now, don't you? What? You can stop pretending to be in the dark, Mr. Right? Mont created to have a manager of his own. Which means if you're talking about a certain manager's initials AA. Jane Andrews. Yes, exactly. This is big news. But it seems kind of odd. Oh, Miss Andrews. You have the biggest rival of her Ah, it's that wonderful thing that only can happen between two people. This crowd is so happy. I was just following along, not having any idea as to why he's smiling. Well, like the saying goes, one man's garbage and another man's treasure. Okay, so now that we have that little uh, nugget, Lada, I am here to get the scoop from you. I'll, I'll take two scoops extra big on a waffle cone. I'm, I'm sorry, chat, but I have to I have to lay it on the gauntlet right now. If you're not a waffle cone enjoyer, uh, grow up. If you don't enjoy waffle cones, I'm sorry, grow up. If you don't like ice cream, that's one thing. If you don't like waffle cones, I'm sorry. Man, I really want some ice cream sandwiches talking about ice cream. <laughs> you know, listen. Cause I'm trying to- I'm trying to save Maya, boo-boo! Also, hi, welcome. Uh, well, okay. Maya got kidnapped. Uh, so we're trying to find out- uh, we her, And we have to, um, save, uh, her by uh, acquitting the guy who apparently does the thing. I want an ice cream sandwich so bad. I've been wanting them for a while, but like, I didn't have money. Now that I have money, I'm, like, stingy. Because I have to save it for, like, living. This woman. This woman. She's Adrian Andrews, Mad on God's manager. Mm. Nickel Samurai's manager caught secretly meeting with his rival, the Jammin' Ninja. It would be the hottest story of the season, wouldn't it? You're pretty good at this guessing thing, Mr. Lawyer. But you can't just make up any old thing and think it'll make the fight. You gotta have backup. Backup? Yeah, yeah. You gotta have that... Uh, what's it? News source? Uh, you mean news source? That's it. So show me something that shows that one guy's little bit Miss Andrews. Alright. What a scoop! This is the article from a certain weekly tabloid. Gemin Midnight Rendezvous. To the mysterious yet beautiful manager of the stars, Miss A.A. <laughs> ah! Miss Korea, Mr. Korea didn't have a manager of his own. What's more, his rival, Mr. On Guard's manager, Adrian Andrews, she has initials AA. You saw this article and then thought to take some pictures of them as proof. That's why you were looking around Miss Korea, Mr. Korea's door last. Wow. Busted. Hell yeah, dude. Alright. You're looking into Mr. Korea and Miss Andrews' affair, weren't you? You got it. I was getting, I was getting myself a scoop. I scan, I catch them in a secret meeting. There's already an article about it in one of the weekly tabloids. It's no longer breaking news. What'd you just say? Your initials are AA. What kind of vague thing is that? That ain't no proof of nothing. People are gonna want to see real proof. Well, at least I do. That's what I was, that's what I was doing. Getting photos. Oh. I'm gonna web over the reader's interest with some gossip and a little misleading. And spice up a little and have myself an exclusive story. Wow, a lot of nice journalistic, journalistic integrity out there. I already finished writing up my spicy article, you know. But the paper I wrote it on, my note to myself, is gone. It was inside the case of my $1,600 camera. They done run off together. I came here with my big story. Didn't come here to have my story disappear on me. Yeah, I understand. It's enough to make a gal go bonkers, I tell you. What's with people now, anyway? I never thought I'd see the day when some... Someone done steal something from me! You really want that note back, huh? I have no idea why, though. That story, uh, I swear in my note is probably a bold faced lie. Eventually, a Gerald Way at the song called Maya the Psychic, which is. I'm like, this Maya, but a funk winky dink. I mean. 
I feel like considering the way that, like, or the track record for Capcom and naming, it's probably not with, outside of their own possibility that they are connected in some way, right? Okay, so we got that information. Um... So, now I just need more dirt. I also need to find more things that I guess uh, she would like. Um... So, let's see here. Ah, interesting. Maybe it's the other way around. You know? So I have the wine glass. Try uh, presenting some stuff to Old Bag and see what uh, she wants. I don't even say anything much like you. She's climbing up like the old clam she is. Please, anything would be helpful. Well, then I might say my measurements. Um, no, that's okay. Really. She doesn't like you, does she, Mister? I know, I know. Okay. So I doubt she'd want a camera with some spicy info in it. Okay. Um. Let's come back here for a second. March 21st, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Ah, the lawyer dude. So what did you find out? Um, well, I'm still in the middle of investigating. I see. Well, I've already told you everything I know, dude. That's my man. Did you meet her? Uh, yeah. What do you think? Strong women, right? And she takes good care of me. Such a mama's boy. <laughs> yeah, we got, the, we got all this information. I'm not uh, reading it out. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh. Okay, I'm just seeing if you like the news or whatever. I'm just trying to find out information. Okay. Where's my fan club? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask the fan club president, okay? Um, dude, you know what? I gotta ask. Alright, um. Okay, so she's not gonna talk about anything. <laughs> what would she want? She's a bigger fan of the gem and samurai. Hmm, do I have everything I need for, uh... For her? Let's see. Cyclops. I wish one could read a murder. If you ask me, I think you know the reason he was killed. Hmm. Are you hiding? Don't you realize you're putting Mr. On Guard's life in danger by your actions? Why do you ask questions for which I have no answers? The truth is, I was not that close to Mr. Karita. You were not that close. That's right. I've never been good at being intimate with another person. You're not good at being intimate with another person, though I highly doubt that. I want to make sure this is like 
the right thing to do. Let me just uh, save real quick. I want to save scum for a second. I just want to check and make sure. Okay, so... Oh, by the way, I made a uh, a D and D character today, chat. I'm I'm playing a bard. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But like, you know, I don't want to be at like one pip of health for like if I screw up. You and Mr. Karita had an intimate relationship, did you not? A silly third-rate tabloid article. If you're not half your wits about you, you wouldn't believe such rubbish. Well, it seems quite a few people have already bought into this story. Hmm. As you expect in a world filled with crooks and liars. Note to self, stay on your good side. In any case, I despise an impersonal relationship like that. I see. However, whether there's a reason you need to, there's a need for you to get close to someone. Hmm. You need to get close to Mr. Korea. If there's ever such a need, you need to get close to Mr. Korea for this person's sake. I mean, yeah, but so is Maya, you know? But I think she's also, like, a little bit too old. Just a snitch. It's no turnabout big talk, but it's still just one of the things she's like, that's a little weird, you know? Okay, so it wouldn't be for uh, Will Powers' sake. It's not for, um, at on guard's sake. So who would it be for? I don't know yet? Hmm. I'd like to become Mr. Ungard's Lord Manager. He's a pleasure to manage with his nice disposition. Hmm. Mr. Ungard does seem like a rather good old man, always doing as he's told. He's always saying, my manager, right, Mr. Ungard? Bad for the guy. Ugh. What a horrible thing to say. Sai doesn't care about generally nice people, Mr. <laughs> for a second, her face was in pain. I wonder if something bad happened to Miss Andrews. Something bad happened to Miss Okay, calm down there, buddy. <laughs> Take a chill pill. Adventure, just plain old boring. Now, adults, we get more caught up in more. We, we get more caught up in messy, sticky, real situations. Even me. Oh, can I just get where I'm, where I'm going with this? Wait a sec here. Don't get her. Don't go around getting her mixed up in things like that. All right. Uh, you know about? Uh, um, you know me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know the manager. Yeah, that was hard. I wonder if Gumshoe knows anything about, like, anyone else. Let's see. We know about, uh, some of these people. Like, uh... She's our god's manager, right? No matter what I do, I really stink at talking to people like her. She knows about my mouth to get all flustered. She's one of those women with a brain. She's someone who gets things done. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. 
never in all of my years did I expect Gumshoe to be a male wife. <laughs> Gives you that sort of impression, like she's got it all together. Compared to her, you can easily tell them I can't do anything right down the game. That's why I get all nervous and start messing up. That's sort of bad thing. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On second thought, yeah. Hey, why don't we let bygones and bygones go? Look, the guy, this guy is guilty. A buck says so. One dollar? I'm sure you're not talking about pros allowance for me. I... I can't it. My salary is... It doesn't matter what I still have to defend Mr. On Garden Court or else. Mr. Nick. I'm not a real fan of action shows or anything. But I know one created a man got off. Yeah, I already had this discussion. If I had a choice, she would be number three on the list of people I don't want to see. Put him in the number one spot. Just don't get all high and mighty of me. You take it a thumbs in the second place, pal. Huh? Really? The reason first. This one comes as miles and miles ahead of you in this race. Oh. She's really scary. Right now, in this one comes, I really don't. I'm so scared of her that he's whispering now. <laughs> Grown ass man. <laughs> Alright. Thought she was an alien from outer space. Yeah, probably because he's wearing that strange helmet. Man, even with the helmet off, I thought you were an alien, pal. Man, it's probably best kept to yourself, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh god, I love streaming. Fucking. I, 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 I say some dumb shit, and it's just like, hey, <laughs> you think Gumshoe's an ass man? I'm like, I don't know. I do not know. But I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's a hard. <laughs> Just I don't know noise. Can I examine the? No, there's like a couple pink cops that exist. I found there's like two or three. Uh, the pink cops that especially stick out of my mind are two. It's Chun Li, and it's uh, what's her name? Uh, Carmelita Fox. Oh, it's because missing the knife. Yeah, that's what it is. And that's the same knife present uh, in this picture, I imagine. Yeah, same mold and everything. I think Chun Li and Carmelita are like the only two good pink cups. There's probably others that exist. Uh, let's see. I never thought I'd see her here. No, sorry, her here <laughs> throughout the whole places. Yeah, for real. The last time we actually saw each other was during that really bad incident. You know, I mean, when I look back now, I think all the good things. So it's not so bad, I guess. Yeah, I really would love to go back in time and relive a few of those good things. <laughs> That's not funny. Yeah, I guess not. Alright, um... For real. What do you have to say about old bag? I don't think anything to say about it. I'm a... It's all granny? Ah, she kept glaring at me with those eyes of hers. If it's my fault. She kept babbling out to me to get people who write trash about her wand. Ah, oh, yeah, you sort of got in a little fat, you know? A little fat. I mean, those two is probably more of a collaborating contest. Ah, damn it. Hello, hi. I'm trying to find out how to unlock Cyclox, but... I'm having trouble figuring it out. I need to give her something. I know she's. I don't. Know, I don't have enough that I think she'd be interested in. Cause like, all I have is this thing of tomato juice. Uh, the games are fun. I'm just trying to figure out like the 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 nuance and events. Uh, look at this. What do you think of it? Okay. I think that's 
sent the gumshoe? Let's see here. There's a lot of them, look. Look at all these bears. The bears are in. <laughs> anyway, uh... Yeah, there's <laughs> no no uh, burly gay men here, unfortunately. Unless you got a gumshoe. <laughs> Just security lady. Just security lady. <sighs> Wait a minute. Hold on. I think an abject narcissist like uh, Wendy Oldbag would love to talk to her, talk about herself. So, what if I? Damn it! Would she want the juice? Um, this remaster—I don't know when it came out, but like these games, like the original Ace Attorney games, are from like 2000 and like three and four. These are on like the DS or like the DS, the Game Boy Advance originally. Um, they aren't like the first like visual novel games. It's like they kind of just made them a lot more mainstream, at least over here in the states. Like, there's a couple, like, you know, people will, like, translate who are, like, huge weebs and shit, but, like, this is, like, I guess, like, dating sims and stuff like that, too. This is, like, the one that kind of popularized the genre a lot more. I don't know. I might be wrong about that, but I feel like it's that kind of thing. Uh, I don't even want this. But I don't know where else it can go. Or what else it can show to people to get more information. Hey, I'm not saying I want to ask you, bro. Okay, what is it? Are you so interested in how Maya and I get along? I mean, if you don't know anything special, go- Huh? What do you mean? But I thought- I thought you and Mystic Maya were- I've been mistaken all this time? No way! Ah, he wasn't kidding. Pearls actually believes Maya and I are- I think I should've just left it alone. Mr. Nick, stop it! Don't hide your true feelings from me! Ow, she slapped me! Since there was no Cyclops, then that means we can trust Mr. Ongar to be innocent. I really feel much better knowing that. Ever since last night, I kept- I was so worried that I kept wondering. What if he is the real killer? Not then. Okay, so I guess we don't have anything else we can really discuss. Um... I know he's not exactly the, uh, you know... The brightest, uh... What do you think about this article? <laughs> She's talking about her thing with Juan. I always thought she was a bit careless in the way she handled it. That's it? That's it? Okay. Not even the victim. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this jacket is kind of cool. I gotta... I, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's that kind of jacket that like kind of screams, "Hi, I'm a I'm a main character in a, uh, in, a in a TV show." I'm thinking about getting like a new wardrobe and stuff, but like I don't know. He already broke her cyclops. I've already talked about a couple things about her. Um. Yeah, journalist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, anything else that you want to know? You want to know anything about the transceiver? Hey, what's that? A press conference ticket? How come I get? How come I ain't got myself one of them? Please don't direct your anger at me. Why on Tornation was I invited to that? How come someone on the bottom of the popularity chart like you got the info, but not me? Info like that is worth nothing to you, am I right or what? Can you stand there and take that, Mr. Nick? I, I guess he is. <laughs> Poor guy. Um. Um. 
I doubt that would do anything. But... Okay, yeah, she doesn't really got it. I'm just, uh, curious. Okay, I'm just gonna run through some of this shit. Uh -huh, I just bought that camera. Who did it? The thieving rascal? Just look straight at me while you're saying that. When I find the bugger who went and did this, they're gonna pay with a bullet. If you do that, don't expect me to defend you. Okay, I didn't know anything about any of the other stuff. Okay. So... What more... What more... I wish I remembered stuff about, like, the last case... Like, the, the last part of the game. I'm just kind of drawing a blank here. Um... Okay, uh... What does he think about the, uh, the, this, the, this? Oh, so you saw that article too. Yeah, I'm really interested in that sort of thing. Actually, we've been looking into that too, pal. Those we'll secret meetings are... That's what this world coming to, even cops or amateur cops in the Yeah, I mean, that's what cops basically do at this point. Hey, what do you mean, what do you be looking at me like that, pal? Whatever you're thinking, you're wrong. Uh, look, you find out more from my investigation, I'll let you know, okay? No more, no more information. Um... Oh, hold up. I think my food's here. I'll be right back, chat. Sometimes it's good to have a house that's very small, even if people have to, you know, be in your mouth when you're trying to run a show. Um, okay, so... We need more information from the investigation, so that probably means I'm to unlock, um... Either one of, or both of the Cyclops, and... At this rate, I'm thinking it's going to be... Probably, um, what's your names? Uh, either... I think it's probably gonna end up being, uh, Old Bags, I think. Oh, you know what time it is, Chet? It's time to get cracking. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I showed him the glass. That's one of the first things I did when I saw it. But when I got that information, I like showed him it. I don't want to glass him, no! That wasn't like supposed to be a joke, it's supposed to just me like cracking this bad boy open. Uh, by the way, uh, Bobu, we're almost out of um, shared slots, so the next time we get an uh, emote idea, uh, send me like the uh, the raw files and we'll just upload it to uh, Better Church TV. I was trying to tell you, I was, I, I was trying to mention that to you, but I forgot until like just now. <laughs> okay. Um. What kind of person would like a good, uh, a good rag? Okay, never mind. So I'm out of ideas. She said she wants a present, and all I have right now in my thing that I even considered one is a thing of fruit juice and a picture of the nickel samurai. So, uh, I've checked the entire room, but I'll go back and see if I missed anything. I can't slide over in the other area. Okay, so that's nothing, that's nothing. I've already seen that, already seen- Oh wait, I haven't seen this, my bad. This. 
This is a guitar case, I guess. A little beat up, but still usable. That's strange. The guitar is, the guitar is not here. Maybe for out the brains, but show. But Mystic Maya, she's at the bright red guitar with the gem and ninja's signature item. That's true. Huh? This guitar case is wet. But it's only wet on the top of the lid. Yeah. There's no water inside the case. This is water, isn't it? Okay. Uh-oh. What's that beeping noise, Mr. Nick? Hmm, I've heard this sound somewhere before. It's Miss Wong Karma. Huh? For some reason, whenever I hear that sound, she pops out of nowhere and whips me. I'm gonna think about it. That's exactly what happened the last time. Sorry, I gotta make myself scarce. Later, pal! Yo! <sighs> Poor Gumshoe. You almost got away. At last, you reveal your true nature, Mr. Phoenix Vite! <sighs> Would it be too much to ask you to be nice to me for a chance? So, you're the type to steal information from the particularly focused detective. That's very dishonorable of you! Ow! Hey, don't you dare run away, stuffy Miss Trenchcoat! Ah! The insincere detectives of this country could use this pit. Ah! Detective, come over here for a second. He just froze up on the spot. Mr. Phoenix Vite, you, you have soiled my perfect prosecution back. I'll never forget that. This time, victory is mine! Victory is yours? Is that all this means to you? That? Hmm. <laughs> Come, Scaffy. The investigation briefing is about to begin. Yes, sir. This isn't over yet. I swear on my family's honor. What's she told me now? What is this? Well, I guess this means I gotta get back to the precinct now, pal. If you need me, come down to the criminal affairs department, alright? And if you can, try not to let Miss Moncama see you. Okay, so... I guess I'll take this, because I guess this is what she wants. Nick, what's this piece of paper? What's this piece of paper? It's called an autograph. Autograph? The paper's got Mr. Karita's name written on it, so it says his autograph. I can't read it at all. To be honest, I've never seen writing that looks like this. Nah, it's a special way of writing called cursive. Look here, see what it says to my dearest Wendy in normal letters here? This sloppy, unreadable writing. It's crazy and cool to give this to someone. Hold on. Wait, I've heard that name somewhere before. Oh lord, here we go. Ah. <sighs> Good one. Alright. I've got what you want. <laughs> Please, old people. Take that! That's, that's Juan's autograph! Yes, it is. And, and it even says to my dearest Wendy on it! Wendy Oldbag, so that Wendy has to be me, right? Oh, it may say Wendy, but somehow I don't think Juan had this Wendy in mind when he signed it. Oh, please, give it to me. Let me have it, please. Uh, uh I can't let you have it. Just like that. Yes, yes, I know. And how about an exchange? Wow, she must really want this autograph. Not really good enough for you? Fine, Mr. Rex, you win. Wendy Oldbag, ready to open up her heart for all, my, all of my dearest Juan. Okay, alright. That that got me. That that got me. Just just seeing them all break like that. Incredible. Oh man, this game rules. I love this stupid franchise. It's so dumb. I feel bad for you. Huh? I'll tell you, I saw him that night. I saw him coming out of Juan's ring. You're kidding! Oh no! It was about ten minutes before Juan's body was discovered. This is a coincidence. I was on my, my toilet. I'm on my toilet, minding my own business. TMI, ma'am. And? Tell the police. 
Well, of course. I thought I could get a gift that I get you out of it. Maybe more. Yes. I've been recruited for that part in the trial. You know, the trial tomorrow. This time, you're going to get it. I worked hard to get your I'm gonna work hard to get your client pronounced guilty. The strong guard hasn't done anything bad. I don't care about details like that. I know he did my poor Juan in. My dear poor Juan in. I just do! That yellow belly chicken! That yellow belly chicken? That would look like. I trust my senses. I know when I, someone did something bad, and I say he did it. Like how you your senses worked on the last case? Like how your senses almost got an innocent man thrown in jail? Okay. What did Mr. Arngard ever do to her to deserve this? Mr. Arngard, you need to make you so... You don't know. That guy, he framed my Juan. He created that scandal that plagued poor Juan. Yeah, for real. Mr. Nick! What is it? What's a scandal? Oh, um, too bad. Okay. Poor Juan, let us stray for the wild that vile temptress. Mr. Nick, what is vile and vile... Ah! Um, how much is this one? Okay, girls. So, Miss Oldbag, who is this woman you're talking about? Adrian Andrews, of course. Who else? That guy took the girl to Juan on purpose. So not the Juan. Now the lawyers are smart. Create a scandal to make Juan lose face. That girl throws Juan to a scandal that drags his reputation to the mud. That's a pretty standard definition of a scandal to me. What do you know about that anyway, Miss Oldbag? I'm one of Juan's biggest fans. I'm always out there gathering information. There's something I don't know. Yeah. I, I, oh, no, 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 that's something else. I, I thought, like, she was the one who knew about how to make cement, but that's another old person. And you have proof that Mr. Ungod did what you say he did? Actually, there's a certain magazine said so. <sighs> of course, a tabloid. Next week, doesn't that mean it's something people don't know about you? Why would Miss Oldbag have a mission like that? What did she get? <laughs> All right. Okay, so... I guess not. And... She's tight-lipped and I don't have enough information to really, uh, move everything the way I need it to. Okay, um, so since we've gotten everything I think we can get out of her, let's head to the Criminal Affairs Department. Man, I love this clearly not a American police department. I'm gonna come through today, an investigation briefing. Yeah, oh, he's back! Hey, so you came, pal. Why the blunt greed? Um, because there's nothing to be friendly or happy about. What do you mean by that? Well, things look perfect this time around. The evidence and testimony are real tight. But, but, we can't just roll over and die, we have to stay positive. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm pulling out food. And you're, uh, crunkling, crinkling. What do you mean, what do you mean, what do you mean the evidence is real tight? I can give you a little detail, though, but there's two big pieces. Two? And both of them are in this photo. And the first is the button that spins in the victim's chest. Hmm. That's the button that you found during your body touching Mr. Ungar. Yup, I found the folds of Nicholas Samurai special paint. Um, uh, and the second one is? A knife in his chest, though. Fingerprints on the knife in his chest, to be exact. Fingerprints. Um, whose are they? You didn't even have to ask, little Missy. It's obvious. They're mad on God. I was trying to talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. What's so airtight about this technique? That old security lady, Miss Oldbag. I thought so. What do you mean? You thought so? Did she tell you? That, that she, what, do you what do you mean you thought so? Did you tell us something, pal? Um, well, I even told her not to open that big mouth of, of mouth of some blab for anyone. Her blab on the stock on ten. There's no turning it down. Trust me. Yeah, well, Miss Oldbag saw it all, pal. She saw Miss Oldbag come out of the victim's room around the estimated time of day. No way! Tell me about this guitar case. Oh, that. This is just what I heard, pal, but that's the German ninja signature I have. But the guitar was in his hotel? 
Yeah, we're looking for it too. I'm not known for a person to forget the most famous item from the war show. Crazy. Hang on, I'm in the war show. It's not a scientist right that I write guitar plays in this case after all. Okay. Um. So this is something else I can really talk to him about. Okay, so we don't really have any more information that we can use. Um So, I guess I just have to go and try to get that information out of her, but I don't know if I have all the information I need for it. bag again just to get a, a mental wrap around everything. Yeah, back for you. Oh, at night when I want to room. Let's see. Ten minutes out before one's body was discovered. Just a coincidence on the way to the toilet. No business. Certificate. Okay. Framed Juan. Created that scan of the plate with Juan. Let her stray with that the wilds that vile temptress. Uh, Adrian Andrews shoved on well, that girl on purpose. Okay. I guess that's like the information that I need, uh for the case. Let's see if that'll let me, uh, move through the Cyclops a bit. I, I, I guess it's just the fact that I hit that flag, right? But, you know, it, it doesn't hurt to save and check and make sure, I guess. I guess Take that! I'm trying to deduce everything and trying to just put it, bring everything in kind of, uh, perspective, but, like, it's a bit difficult, because I'm usually used to getting more information. Okay, nothing intimate. And I use the tabloid first. And then I think I use um, Matt on guard now that I have, like, the information, or I pass that flag. No, okay, doesn't count. Sure, others. Okay, so that's not the case. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna try. A, I'm gonna try a new approach. New approach a go go, and the new approach is. I'm gonna try selecting her this time. Let's see what that does. I think it wouldn't. If it's not for um, Matt's sake, then it would be for her sake. For her career, right? She seems to value that incredibly highly. the way she talks about it. No, okay. Okay, so it's not 
that uh, line of logic either. Hmm. It's not for Juan's sake either. Okay, so I don't know enough people, I suppose. So that's out of the question too. Um. It wouldn't be for old bags' sake because they they haven't they didn't meet until like you know this award ceremony started. Um, okay, let me try to look around a bit more. I'm trying to just also get more information about like other people as well. I'm gonna go explore the uh, criminal affairs part a bit more because I haven't done that at all. Let's see here. Who the chief of detectives here? His boots are computer screen. What? The hero of heroes award ceremony? The grand prize got taken got away from Jam Ninja again? Reading something more important. Most of the detectives. No one's done to himself. Freeze! Police! Everyone against the wall! Hands where I can see them! What are you doing, Gumshoe? Their hands, not yours! I'm just doing image training for arrests. Aw, it's kinda cute. So, Nick, what is this stuffed animal's name? That's the blue badger. It was my idea. I made it. This is Precinct's mascot. Oh, wow. I'm assigned mascot of every police station. It's the last thing I do. Doesn't exceed in your mission, sir. So, anything else I want to ask with this? There are detectives' desks. There are computers and files in each one. I think they're a lot tighter than I expected. Detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desks. Uh. Yeah, you know. Can't be solving crime to nothing. Oh, what's this? A poster of female police officers. Wait, no, that's the latest. Babe's uniform calendar. My bad. <laughs> Something interesting about this woman, though. What is that? You don't know? I haven't read the gospel about it. Gospel. I don't know if he knows anything about that article. I showed him the article, but would it matter now that it's like a different locale? We're pretty invested in this good gospel series. This good gospel series. Scandal of Mr. Frida, but why? Well, two years ago, a woman committed suicide. Suicide? Her name was Celeste Index. And she was Juan Carita's man. The victim's manager? But that's not all, though. This Index is Adrian Antor and her mentor. She told Miss Andrews everything she knew about the business square one. One was both Mr. Carita's manager and Mrs. Andrews' mentor, Miss Andrews' mentor. Could she have something to do with this case? You want to know more about a bell? Yeah, I wouldn't have expected that. I, 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 it's one of those things you have to just try stuff in different places. It's the, uh, it's the, uh, what's it called thing? The, um, the point and click uh, visual novel kind of silly thing. Victim's manager and also Miss Adrian Andrews' mentor. It's been two years since her suicide, and now those two are linked together, linked again by another day. Well, maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe it's just a coincidence. But... Wow! Jesus. I'm getting sick of dealing with you. With one foolish idiot after another. This one, Karma! You can't seem to stop allying yourself with the enemy, can you? I don't need a chaser in my midst. You don't? You don't. You don't. You don't mean. Scrap, you have 30 minutes to get out. You are no longer me. Goodbye. That's... Wait, please wait, sir. If I don't get this more pay, I'll stop. Quiet. If it's been for chasers like you, I would have won. Is that what you want to say? Who? That voice. Edgeworth! It's been a long time. This person, this is Mr. Edgeworth? That's, that's, uh, that's, uh, what's his name's, uh, Von Karma Alarm, uh, Gumtree's Von Karma Alarm. What am I going to do with you? Still blaming others when things go wrong. I haven't changed a bit, Francesca. You, how dare you show your face without a shit of fame upon it, shit of shame upon it. You saw the Von Karma name, Jack the Susie Mud. <laughs> Even run away with your tail between your legs, like the ill-bred dog you are! Are you talking about the Von Karma family creed? Do you pervert in every way? 
Well, let's hear it, Francesca. How are things going? I hear you are having a rough time maintaining perfection in this country. You! You're getting crushed under the weight of it all. That's why I came back. Keep your assumptions to yourself! I haven't given in yet. I want to lose. This case is mine. I'll never hand it over to you. Never! Mr. Phoenix Wright, I will see you tomorrow in court. It will be a clinical lesson on the, on the meaning of total victory. <laughs> to the same wild man as she always was. I like that these are the, like, the first two things and not Jesus Christ. I can't believe you let me think you were dead forever. But you, the prosecutor, Miles Edward, had gone and died. Mr. Nick! I... I wanted to see you again. I think that's enough of a warm welcome with somebody I haven't seen there. You're going to run tomorrow's trial? You heard of that. That wild man was given in the attic, seems. He really is. He really is. So no, I don't think I'll be making an appearance. The hatred for me is quite unhealthy. Not to mention one sided. I will say one thing. You can't win on your own at the trial tomorrow. What is that supposed to be? I have something definitive that you lack. Working together is a definition. Teamwork. It's the power to find the truth. The truth. If you don't understand this case, you have to understand a certain truth. Well, if you never. I didn't need it for my assistance, it's available. I'm not in charge of this case, so I can be a bit more generous with information. That's what is going on inside his head. A lot of things may have happened, however. However, man from Vakana is still my mentor. And a perfect wooden record is proof of Von Kong. One year ago, you could not establish guilt in a few cases. Are those losses the reason you suddenly disappeared from the prosecutor's office? Did you leave because you had lost your perfect win record? I think the motivation of prosecuting trials was so selfish. And better for everyone if you never came back from the dead, Edgeworth. Wow. He's right, but wow. Harsh, buddy. I see. Let me ask you something. Why do you stand in the courtroom? What is your reason? Well, with Francisca, she almost always says, I will defeat you this time. Yes, she sees me. But the courtroom is not a personal battlefield for prosecutors and lawyers. I stand in the courtroom to defend my client. To save their lives. To save their clients. Those who think only of their ego-driven, their own ego-driven goals, those kind of prosecutors are reprehensible. And if you're a prodigy, or someone like you, Looks like there's still a lot you have yet to learn. A lot you have yet to learn? Me? Hm. Well, that's enough for now. The time, the time you will you see is coming soon enough. Yeah, this is Phoenix's husband, basically. They're having a bit of a, a lover stack, though, at the time. Well, we uh, have a bit more dirt, so I'm coming to shovel it directly into this lady's face. March 21st, Gatewater Hotel, On God's Hotel Room. Hmm, looks like Miss Andrews isn't here. That's not good. I still have a few questions I want to ask her. She has that cyclock on her heart, right? Well, we don't have much of a choice. We'll have to come back later. Alright, back we go! I have to talk to Edgeworth more. get information about... There was an interesting rumor about this man. I mean the one about Miss Andrews getting close to him? That's pretty common tabloid there, isn't it? I don't take things at face value when there's more to be found. Okay. Adrian Andrews. She has a large chicken within her can't help but feel that this whole case revolves around. When I was abroad, the portable taps back these poor plus actors came popular. Well, refreshing like a spring breeze is his motto. Refreshing? What is so refreshing about a spring breeze? I think the pollen is not shading in while this year. <laughs> I love that sh I love fucking Phoenix. He's so good. I'm looking at the leaves. We can only look in a few key clips when they're useful. There's only as much to waste our energy. Okay. There's another key assault in this case. 
Do you really think so? She was Adrian Andrew's mentor, and a long time ago, she was suddenly called away by a different sheriff and became Juan Carita's mentor. And then, a few months later, Celeste, Celeste Impacts died. But her death was ruled a suicide, right? Yeah. There's still one riddle we've yet, we've, yet, we've yet to solve. A riddle? A suicide man. It was messy. No one could find it. Mrs. Impact's death was most certainly a suicide. Of that, there is no mistake. However, we cannot find our suicide. That's the police we can't suspect that someone has hit A suicide? A suicide? How do you know Mrs. Impact even had, even, had, even, had even written such a note? There was no solid evidence, however. We did write pieces of ink on her right index, which makes the likelihood of a suicide note very high. Who would hide such a thing? The police think it was Mr. Juan Carrera himself. The victim? God, he just looks like a Toku character. I'm just looking at him, I'm just seeing like a, a 2D Kamen Rider character. <laughs> Who's the one who found her body? Which makes him the only person who had a chance to hide a suicide note. Mr. Carita hit his own manager's suicide note? But why? Once a note is missing, and speculation beyond this is meaningless. For now, I think she looked this over. This is the suicide note. Part 1. Part 1. Okay, so that's another thing I need to use for later. Um... Oh my god, I just thought about something. The thing that Lada wrote on... in her, uh, camera case is the suicide note. I'm, I'm, I'm aiming at the stands, chat. Do you know anything about the, uh, camera? Okay. Uh... I guess that's all the information that I can get from him for right now. Um, should I head back? I mean, now I have everything. I have uh, the information, I have the suicide note, or at least the information about the uh, her, her mentor and everything. But she's still not here. Okay, um... Okay, she's not here either. Alright, um... What else do I need? Ah, oh, I guess, you know, this is related to the uh, case, I think. No, no, it's not. Okay. Okay, so I have nothing else related to the case. Um... What else do I need to do? I, I doubt, uh... That's anything good for me. Let's see if I, uh, even... I don't like to look through reports. I like suicide reports even less. Worst of all, reports like this that have multiple parts like that one. That has two. Two parts. I don't think so. What you ha you're saying to me is the first part of the report. Here is the second part. Is about an attempted suicide. And his name? It's Adrian Andrews. Miss Andrews? Um, what did she do? She, she tried to kill herself. She's a tiny person that's trying to kill herself. She thinks she's a strong real one. Adrian Andrews. She has a certain secret she's always trying to hide. A secret. Her deep, her dependent nature. That's what she's really like on the inside. Miss Andrews? Dependent? It's not the opposite of what that woman is. Oh. This is about Miss Andrews having a dependent nature. Adrian Andrews attempted suicide. A few days after the death of Celeste and Ben. And why did Adrian Andrews think about committing suicide? 
because she had an apparent because she had apparently lost her will to live. Lost her will? But why would she? One second, I gotta move something over to me because these bugs are bugging the hell out of me. Alright, there we go. A pillar of strength for mentor Celeste Impacts was gone forever. That's bad. Why would that is what they call following someone to the grave? After attempted suicide, you can end your part and encounter more. She's someone who needs a person in whom she can trust completely. And once you find that person, she'll do anything she can to keep them near. Not such an anchor in her life, but crippling anxiety stifles her ability to live. to bury your gaze. It's less than text on the committed suicide. But before our turn, pitched off. That's according to Adrian Andrews herself. And that means a super confident attitude. It's all a facade. She's only copying her mental behavior to hold herself together. How terrible. I guess now I have everything. Because I think, like, uh, what happened? That happened, like, uh, a couple years ago. Two years ago, it didn't tell her age. We would have been 21, I guess that's fine, depending on how old like, uh, she is. But I guess they're like, both adults. Uh -huh. I'm kind of wishy-washy about a lot of stuff like that, but it's only because, like, the instances are just so different between a lot of these things. <laughs> oh, Miss Andrews is here. It looks like she's talking with someone. That's Francisca von Karma. Ms. Von Karma? What are you doing here? Um, well, you see, I'm his lawyer, so I've got some that are following me. Following me around. Following you? That's you, Miss Von Karma. You're the one doing the following. Girls, always following after that Mr. Detective with the little beard. Following after Scott, please don't make me laugh. Let me show you something interesting. What is that? Electro magnetic receiver. The, the, the dragon radar. Not the tracking device was at the table. I can see it. I know that's it. I know that's it. I know you heard with the receiver. I'm really sorry for pointing at your gumption now. Now, let's stop wasting time. Agent Andrews. Yes? Think hard what we just discussed. Understood. She's a little dazed, doesn't she? Oh okay. <laughs> and Phoenix Wright giving me an L. Take that! Getting in a combo. Take that! <laughs> Phoenix Wright's favorite show growing up. All that! <laughs> Take that! Celeste Impacts, your mentor. About Celeste. Miss Impacts, she made suicide, didn't she? It looked like no one knows why. Right before her death, she was one free of men. So I believe you got close enough to Frida so you could find out more about her suicide. You have a great imagination. You may have the future yet as a simply a slimy muckraker for a putrid third rate tabloid. Miss Andrews? There was no mystery surrounding her death. None. It would be pointless for me to force myself into a relationship for nothing. Is that really true? Is there really no mystery at all? I don't believe you're truly at ease with the way your suicide was resolved. Take that! This impact of suicide note was never found, was it? 
It looks like the police were under suspicion that someone had hidden. Like me with a person who discovered her body, Mr. Corita. What? And, Miss Andrews, I believe you thought the same thing. That's when we became intimate with... That's when I became intimate with Mr. Corita. I accept that I leave your insulting memory long enough! It's true that Celeste is my mentor, however. Allow me to say this again. It had nothing to do with me. I didn't even know that her suicide note was never found. I'm a person who doesn't care about what goes on in the lives of others. That's the impression you'd like to give, however. I don't think that's who you really are. What? The evidence that says otherwise. This is proof that Celeste impacts someone very special to you. Take that! Miss Andrews, you nearly went through it. You went through with it too, didn't you? Went through with what? Ending your life. Miss Andrews, you look and act like a very strong woman with it all together. You don't ask for anyone's help, relying only on yourself. Yes, I've been very independent ever since I can remember. However, that is all just a lie, a facade. You've always searched out for who you can People searched out people on whom you can depend on. That's... You were dependent on Miss Impacts, weren't you? Which is why, when she passed away, you lost everything you had. Stop! When Celeste passed away so suddenly like that, I died a death to my own. But, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't stop thinking about what had become of her note. You must have heard about the police report. You must have the police suspected Miss Frida of hiding Miss Impact's note. You heard about it, and thought to recover it from him by getting close, am I right? If that's the case, then everything changes. What do you mean? What topic do we start, what topic do we start this conversation on again? It was, why was the victim killed? Exactly. Somehow, Miss Andrews, it seems that you have, you have become one with the reason to want Mr. Karita dead. Me? Miss Impacts was everything to you. And then she died. And you would do anything to find out why she killed herself. Even commit murder. Murder? It's true. I'm a woman who can only live in insecurity. I'm physically small and I only have a lot of self-confidence. I pushed against all that, though. I've tried to live strongly. I never wanted anyone to find out the truth. It's Andrews. This one thing... It's the one thing I wanted to take with me to my the grave. It was my secret. Mine and mine alone. I... I'm sorry. You probably think I'm a worthless human being right now, don't you? Please, Miss Andrews. All I want to know is this. After Celeste passed away, I heard that someone had hidden her suicide note. And that someone was Juan Carino. Celeste. Without her. Without her, I became scared. Everything... Everyone seemed like they were out to get me. Yeah, it's... Fucking big chili. Apparently, it's supposed to snow today. I don't know if it ever did. They're close to Mr. Carrillo and recovered her suicide note, correct? The tabloid reported the truth after all. Ironic, isn't it? Well, like they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if they purposely add fuel to the fire, they keep the celebrity world burning. Yeah, I heard about, like, snow over there. But as for the suicide note, I didn't and wouldn't kill anyone for it. This isn't suit me, that's all. Sauce! Yes! Well, that's enough for now. I still have work to do, so... I understand. Uh, I have one small favorite. My attendance is... Uh, what could it be missing? Miss Andrews. People found out about my weakness. I would sooner choose to die. Alright, I understand. We'll keep it a secret. Miss Andrews. She's a real friend. She probably never says anything without carefully thinking of First. Thank you for your discretion. Mr. Nick, can I ask you something? What is it? Miss Andrews has been playing with that card in her hand a little while back. Oh, yeah, she has. Miss Andrews, what is that card you Oh, this? I don't quite know. It's something that disappeared in my hand. This looks like a seashell? That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? it? Looks like a turban shell, honestly. I also don't remember owning this card. I wonder where I picked up from. I don't remember anything. Oh, that must be off. I leave Mr. On Guard in your capable hands. It does, yeah. March 21st, Gatewater Hotel, Hallway. Well, I think we've gathered about all we can. What about Mystic Maya? Is she alright? Oh, 
bro. I feel so worn out by all this. I wish I slept at all and have been walking with all over the place with me today. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Let's go back to the office for a little while. You're really tired, right? Oh no! I'm okay, really. I'm fine. I really am. You don't look fine to me. Alright. Uh, God, I haven't played all the games yet. Um, I like Maya a lot, though. Maya's really fun. So, what now? Well, we did find one thing out for sure. Cassandra's is a motive. You mean Miss Impact's suicide note? That's right. She was also the one to discover the victim's body. Clever. Oh, fuck. Ah, Mr. Nick! The transceiver! Hello? Right in Cola offices. Mr. Attorney. Am I answering a phone? Maya! Where's Maya? As I promised, I have not done enough. Why? I suppose she's absolutely fat. What? I suggest you win a quick acquittal on her. Wouldn't you agree? Wait, Maya, let me hear her! Very well. Ask my. Maya, is that you? Sis. Ask my sis! Maya! Maya! Damn it, you cut me off! I said Maya said, ask my sis, didn't she? Sis? What does she mean by that? Come on, Phoenix! You're a hopeless one. Um, sorry. Ah! Yeah, that was fast. Mia! I have a message from Maya. Come, ask me anything you want about her. How's Maya? She's safe. For now. That kidnapper is one of you is worried, it seems. I can hear she's safe. But Mia, how did you know? As soon as she was locked up, Maya called me. I read the note she left. And then I gathered as much information about her as long as I could. Pretty smart of her. Hit <laughs> post more. Yeah, for real, right? The kidnapper! What's he like? I don't know. Apparently, Maya went to answer a phone call at the hotel and was drugged there. And? She didn't see the face of the attacker. Ugh. Maya's locked up in a very dark place right now. I'll tell you everything I heard when I was with her. When you were with her? Date? Mm hmm. Time? Mm hmm. Man, I miss you, Yu Hakusho, so much. Yu Hakusho is great. Mm, I'm starving. I'm gonna go for some apple pie. I mean, at a time like this, sweet's the only way to go. I have to stay positive. He probably wasn't gonna kill me. I'm not gonna die. Sis, I wonder if you're with Nick right now. Okay, so. Huh? Someone dropped a card here. It's almost like a business card. There's no name on it. Yeah, we played as Maya for a second. Hmm. Actually, a seashell, I found. What a strange card. What is this? A glass box. Means they feel like barrels. I'll pass. It's bad I'm really hungry and thirsty. You're too young to drink anyway. X press X to channel the dead, yeah. There's all sorts of things piled up here. It's too dark to see. Card or a stiff piece of cardboard. And click! They magically open the door. I think there's a card around. A card like, a card like that around I can use. Ah! That's it! A shell card! If you use this, maybe I can get this door open. This would be like a key out of here. I think this card might be useful. Such a genius. Alright. Now if you just. Now if you excuse me, it's a kidnapper. I did it! Okay, now I'm getting the heck out of here. Shouldn't keep Nick or waiting or worried. Okay. I'll do a little bit more. So where is she now? We're already at the trial? What? Okay, we'll do this first part of the trial, then I'm going to dip. And if, uh, Bobu, you can see, is Mog still streaming? Is, is Mog still live? Adrian, Adrian did it? That's what it looks like. Dude, no what? No one couldn't do anything like that. 
in court today, there will be a monster of evidence that will, that will implicate you. A of evidence? I'm certain there's someone out there trying very hard to pin this whole thing on you. Okay, okay, okay. Good. I'm gonna raid her after we're uh, done with uh, this part of the trial. Please, Mr. Lawyer, do like I said yesterday. I'm the first one to spring breeze, alright? I don't know this one, room, huh? I understand. Yeah, it's almost time. Yeah, we must get a complete acquittal today. I know. I can't focus on my situation right now. Or pearls, either. No matter what, I have to focus on winning this case by the end of the day. Well, let's get going! It's him! This is right. Good morning. This is it, Mr. Attorney. Today the trial. Maya, she's unharmed, right? Well, when I checked her earlier this morning, she seemed a bit, how should we say, tired. Don't worry, people don't die. Besides, what you really should be crouching on is winning today's trial. Yeah. For my sake, what is yours? You must win today's trial. Which is why... What in the world would you want to give me? What you want to give me? Figure it out once the trial starts. Maybe you don't like my trial. That's what you do graciously accept me. Anyone stays constant. Wait! I can't have something a present. Mr. Lawyer, dude? Who was that? Uh, um, no one. It has nothing to do with you, so forget you heard anything. Dude, did your nose just get longer? <laughs> Wait, where's... Where's Francisca? What? Court is now in session for the trial of Matt on guard. The prosecution and defense ready. The defense is ready, Your Honor. I say, Mr. Wright, what happened to Miss Von Karma? I don't know, Your Honor. Your Honor. Please be quiet, Bailiff. Court is in session. If you must tell me something, please keep it brief. Now then, what was it? Prosecutor, Prosecutor Von Karma has... This morning, Von Karma was shot by an unknown gunman. What?! Hello? What? Shot? I don't know. No, he's not the- Bailiff isn't the glasses man. Glasses man is like the, the uh, tutorial uh, uh, prosecutor gets shoved to the side. Somehow. I think this is the, this is the present that man was talking about. His present. Son Karma is one of the top prosecutors in the country at the moment. If she would disappear, it would be to your advantage. This, this is totally insane. Miss Von Karma, is she all right? I don't have that answer. You're alive and in civil condition. That's good. You. You were. I thought you'd show up. Your Honor, due to the circumstances, Miss Von Karma, Ben Francisca Von Karma cannot appear in court. I, Miles Edgeworth, will be taking her place. I, I couldn't think of any other voices right now. Prosecution is ready. Not sure. This one Karma was shot in the right shoulder and is currently undergoing surgery. Luckily, I have looked this case over and I'm familiar with his details. The prosecution seeks to prove the guilt of Mr. Malcolm Gardner. The court acknowledges the prosecution. Right. I finally found the answer I was struggling for my long journey to God's grace. By the time this case comes to an end, you too will know the answer. Now, the prosecution would like to call its first witness. Please bring Detective Gumshoe to the witness stand. Name and occupation. Mm, my name's Dave Gumshoe, sir. I'm a detective down here. For now. Now, after this trial is over, I'm supposed to turn in my badge. Detective Gumshoe. The prosecution has no need for a depressed witness. Lift your head up and face the forward like a proud officer, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Yes, sir! Now, let's have your test. If you want to explore this very fa the very facts of this case from this first, you must not be fast. Get ready, Phoenix. This is gonna be one very rough fight. Yeah. But have to be the edge of my opponent. And so you're struggling for it. Interesting. Show me this answer you finally found, I believe. God. Men who love each other. The more to happen that happened up to the Hero of Heroes Award ceremony, so. The victim, Juan Carita, was found dead in his hotel. After looking into the cause of death, we believe it was definitely murdered. So. At first, we thought there was something suspicious about the end of the guitar case. However, we later found out that the guitar case had nothing to do with the murder. Okay, so I have to press on a couple of these statements. Probably all of it. 
<laughs> After the awards ceremony ended, the victim was alone in his room. Yes, sir. Both the victim and the defendant went alone to their room, sir. I see. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross examination. Right. Let's get some informaciones! So you know that. Let me just press on Why not? Would you please give us a brief time on what happened after the ceremony? Okay, bro. The ceremony started at 6 p.m. It ended around 8 p.m. And then there was a short break. A bunch of post ceremony shows supposed to start and lobby 30 minutes later. And that's when the victim's body was found, correct? Which is to say, the murder occurred during that 30 minute break period. Hmm. Can you see me here, Tap Money? You know, considering. Like. The, the contents of, uh. The, uh. The, uh, the substances she consumed, uh, I don't doubt it. I'm surprised, like, she's even streaming at all with that in her system. Yeah, the cause of death. Wasn't it be was that because Miss Creator was stabbed in the chest? Only a killer amateur would believe something so brilliant like that, pal. Play a good hard look at the crime for Now, the real close tension will be drawn here. It's been down. Back to the man's neck, sir. Ah, yes. I see. This banana scented bandana. <gasps> then, what about a knife? What about the knife? It seems to have been stuck in the victim's chest on purpose after his death. Hmm. Have a crafty murder mind. Okay, so we have uh, that information. It's good to have. Okay. Something to be in the guitar case. However, we later found out that the guitar is what convinced you had nothing to do with the case? The guitar was in a bit would all tell that day. Well, then where was it? The bright red guitar was eventually found at the TV store. The victim, Juan Corita, had been apparently taken the case with So you mean you forgot to put the guitar inside the case? Yes, sir. Even when he was on stage at the ceremony, he didn't have his guitar. That guitar was empty before he got to the hotel. Yeah, that's right. So we had nothing to do with the case after all. First order of business is regathering our testimony. Right. Okay. So I have traps, so I just stuff. Uh huh. The person who found that the victim's body was Adrian Andrews, correct? Yeah. Who is this Adrian Andrews you're talking about? She's a defendant, Matt on God's manager. She's a real pretty lady. So Ah, so she's a pretty lady. I wonder if she will grace us with her presence. When the post ceremony show was about to start, she went to go get Mr. She went to go get Mr. On Guard. After visiting his room, she went next. She, went, she next went to the victim's room to get him for the show. So, she found the victim's body. Right. Why do you think that? Because it was empty, pal. Jim and Ninja doesn't go anywhere without a bright red guitar. Just. Couldn't find anywhere to see the crime. And how about this theory? A fan really wanted the guitar and did the crime to get it. How's that? Um, we thought of that too, but. But? The only fingerprints on the guitar case were the victims. The only victims, huh? Hmm, I see. Ah, oh, that's not my theory, then. Hmm. I believe that is enough. First, the victim was choked to death with his bandana. Then, after the victim was dead, the killer deliberately stabbed him with a knife. Brings you to the next point. Why then did the police arrest Matt on guard? Because there was a reason, a reason not to suspect him. Here it comes. Looks like Edward's back in the full, back in full swing. Very well, Detective Gumshoe. Please testify about this matter. Yes, sir. Matt right, on guard. Matt on guard and one career were too drought with each other. We each thought the other was, we thought the other guy was in his way. That's enough motive in my book. As for evidence, there's a jam and ninja's button. Ripped off the ninja costume was found in Angar's account. The defendant's fingerprints were also all over the knife. The defendant brought the knife, bought the knife for the crime, which makes this a premeditated motive. But he didn't, though. He didn't bring the knife for the crime. Hmm. So the defendant's fingerprints were found on the knife he used in the stabbing. It was sort of sticky on the handles. The fingerprints came out pretty clearly, so. <laughs> and there's this button. Yeah, this button. Well, it's found on the defendant's clothes, wasn't it? Was it? Hmm. 
And this button is also covered in blood? Yes, we know that the blood in the blood of the victim's blood, so. What? Okay. All this points very clearly to defend it, doesn't it? Yes, it most certainly does, Your Honor. Ready to give in yet, right? <laughs> I'll find the hole in your argument somehow. No, I'm not making the joke. I'm not making the joke. Nah. Nah, you don't get one. Not today. You can press as hard as you'd like. Just hurry up with your usual pointless questions. <sighs> Literally, it's just nothing but a game of foreplay for these two idiots. Right, you know that. But in terms of popularity, Mr. On Guard won, you know? Yeah, but you know what's ironic, though? Juan Carrito is always one step behind Mr. On Guard and everything. This year, it seemed like he finally caught up, ready for the big final showdown. But Mr. Carrito lost the Grand Prix in the end. It's too bad. He must have been pretty downhearted after losing. Wait just one second here. Mr. On Guard was beating Mr. Carrito in the popularity polls. Well, yeah, I guess, but... Which means that in the defendant's eyes, the victim was not a rival at all. Which means he had no motive to kill at all. Hmm, not quite agree. Well, detective? Uh, it's not... well... I guess we put it that way, then yeah, the defendant would have had no motive. Objection! Detective, detective, I'm beginning to see why you were fired. That's so mean! Why would you say that to him?! Uh, eh, no, not you too, Mr. Edgewood, sir. That's. I look forward to your pension negotiations. No! I don't know, detective. Continue with that testimony. No, I'm up for pension too. Detective, if you buy your money, I suggest you proceed. Yes, sir. We can talk about pension later, sir. Have any evidence back to reclaim that this button was ripped off the gym and just caught it? Huh, but can you just tell by looking at it? By looking at it. Uh, and the victim's blood? Anyone could have smeared their blood on there afterward. At least, like, once a game, I feel like. Mr. Edgewood, help me, sir. Alright, you would have to get this piece of evidence. I'll just have to reel this one in. Thread. The button was attached to the costume by thread, obviously. And that thread snapped when the button was coming off. You match at the end of the thread on the costume and the thread on the button. Perfect match. Yeah, that's it. They're a perfect match, pal. Ugh. That says Red for you. Never misses a beat. In the costume was found in the stone guard's hat. Oh, no, that's true. The defendant's fingerprints rustle over the knife. The defendant brought the knife for the crime, which makes this a premeditated murder. The hell it does, my guy. Objection. Wait a second. What? So the basis of your argument was, was that this was a premeditated murder is simply that my client brought a knife beforehand? That's right, Bell. The defendant did not buy this knife. Huh? Take a good look at the handle of this knife, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Huh. It has a gatewater seal set into the handle. Gatewater? I've never heard that name somewhere before. That's the name of the hotel. The Gatewater Hotel. Uh -oh. <laughs> Something just about, like, the ellipses followed by him just going back into his, like, grieving animation would just uh oh is funny. The murder knife was actually probably the hotel, which means that this murder was not premeditated. Yes, that is very true. This is very big. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Edgeworth? I'm sorry, but the defense is simply too careless. What? I think whether the crime was premeditated or not, it's hard to determine. 
How so? I admit this Nagas Hotel proxy. Okay? There's no one currently on the police force that is dumb not dumb enough not to realize this. <gasps> oh no! Why you gotta do this to him? But I do not know. The question is, where did this knife come from? Well, that's obvious. It came from the victim who created his room. Sorry, Owen, but that isn't correct. <laughs> the victim ate a, a last meal before he was murdered. That, that being the case, I would like to draw the court's attention was on the top of the table. The knife and there's a knife and fork on the table. Then, then where does this knife come from? Yeah, figures. If it pleases the courts, I would like for it to recall the room of the defendant. Just a mess on guard. <laughs> Especially it was on top of his table. There is something missing. Perhaps is it a single knife? Investigate the leftover dishes and fingerprints, and when we're investigating, investigating, we came to the conclusion that Mr. Matt on God's knife was missing. Uh, Mr. God had gone to the room with the knife he had used during dinner. Why would he carry a knife on a visit? To kill, of course. And with that, I believe the prosecution has proven that this was a premeditated murder. <laughs> Amazing, Mr. Ashford. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, is it really? Hold on. Okay, let me do some shuffling around. Okay. Yeah, I'm I, I'm I'm trying to get a, a good voice for him, and it's a little difficult. I'm probably gonna change my voice for him because it's like trying to do the uh, British accent is a little rough. Seems like Edgeworth is planned from the very beginning. This must be one of those traps, and I just walked headlong into it. Murder open fingerprints and a button from the victim's costume. There is quite a sizable amount of evidence here. I can safely say that any further deliberation is a waste of your honest time. Although, I wouldn't mind if the defense were to present evidence not yet shown to the court. Evidence not yet shown. It means evidence that the court hasn't seen yet. In other words, new evidence. What does the defense have to say about this, Mr. Wright? I mean... They haven't talked about the wine glass. They haven't talked about the uh, suicide reports. I, I know we're going to try to just push, you know, Adrian as being the murderer. You know, I know she's not, but... Um, well, Phoenix. Judge is favoring the prosecution. If we answer with something wrong here. My gavel is really ringing out to the sound of our defeat. This is right. Do you have something important necessary to present this court? Night floral. Do I? I'm trying to think here. Or no, it's gonna just. You know what? I'm gonna. Save low ed just in case. Uh, I guess no, not right now. Must be another trap. Better if I don't say anything than risk throwing out a bad piece of evidence. Because the defense isn't saying a peep on this one. Which means this court is adjourned. Phoenix, we will lose this case if you give up here. So better to the judge something quick. Sit down, we all know I have a tendency to be wrong more than. I can't even say it. It doesn't really matter. There's one... One piece of evidence that catches my attention. Something this court has yet to see. Mr. Wright, I will say this one more time. I do not feel the trial in this casino at all. However, I'm giving you one chance. I don't want it. What you're just saying, right, is don't try to clone my usual bluffs here. If I mess this up, it's certain for all of us. Oh my god!
Okay. So, we haven't talked about, like, the wine glass. We haven't talked about a lot of things. I don't know what to do here. What do I need to present? Chad, I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Guide mode doesn't do anything. I have no, um. Cause we talked about the photo. Oh, the, the wine glass, you mean? I'm trying to see what you're talking about. The blood egg. No, the blood egg, we already know the blood egg has all the information on it, right? Because you look at the crime scene photo. And we can see that the button is gone. And the blood egg has, like, the blood on it that's right there from where the knife wound was. So let me mentally retread. So we're trying to get one more piece of evidence that proves that he could not be guilty. I feel like it's the wine glass, but I don't want to make the wrong call here because it's it's literally my ass, right? I did. Yeah, I did. I only did one thing in between this and that. that. Yeah, I fucked up. This is a wine glass, is it not? Oh, thank God. Oh my God, I got... <laughs> oh, when it kept playing the music, I felt my heart sink. Oh, man. Let's do the photo of the crime scene one more time. The scene is a mess because of the victim's struggle against his assailant. The vase was broken, his makeup all over the makeup all over the floor. These were all things that were at one point sitting on top of the dresser. Hmm. Well, yes, that's your point. However, this glass that is sitting on top of the dresser is mysteriously untouched. The only thing that had not fallen over along with everything else is this wine glass. This piece of evidence is more than strange enough to warrant further consideration. Well, what do you all have to say? Uh, well, yes, it is a little peculiar. Yes, isn't it? I thought it was. You can stop looking at those puppy dog eyes of yours now. Mr. Edgeworth, what is it, Your Honor? Your opinion? You don't need my opinion. Because there is no special meaning to that gloss. What? It's safe to say that the gloss was set there after the crime took place. By the person who discovered the body, Adrian Andrews, for example. She could have easily been so shocked to set the glass down without thinking. Hmm, that does sound very plausible, Mr. Wright. Angel's video really set the glass down without thinking. Uh. Considering all the tomato juice and stuff in his room, there's no way. The defense would like to challenge the prosecution's theory. We would like to see that. Something that proves it was Miss Andrews at the cup on the table. Hmm. You've done the situation on Teddy yet again, as usual. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have any proof to back up your claim? There's no way he has any. He's just bluffing. Only like Mr. Wright. I never say anything unless I have the evidence to support it. What? Well, shit. You're not thinking hard enough today, right? Did you think this wine glass is getting my nervous? Then. Of course it had been thoroughly inspected for fingerprints. 
only one set of fingerprints left in this wine glass. Only one. But whose were they? They were not the victims of the defense. Rather, they were of one Adrian Andrews. What? Well, fuck. That is why I said that the person who had discovered the body had left it there. And are we done here, Mr. Wright? Ugh. Anyway, I fell into another trap. Mr. Andrews is probably holding the glass when you went to see Mr. Carew. But upon seeing his dead body, she was stunned and set the glass down on the dresser. Hmm, what you said makes a lot of sense. Now do you see, Mr. Wright? Now you see, Wright? You can't change any part of my scenario, which explains everything all too well. Ugh. I thought long and hard about this last, this last year about what it means to be a prosecutor. From here on out, I will show you the answer I have come to discover. Wait a second, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution has provided enough evidence for me to enter my verdict. Unfortunately, I cannot allow you to pass judgment yet. The prosecution is yet to another witness who would, would like the court to hear from. Another witness? Yes. Bailiff, please bring in the next witness. Oh, what was Mr. Edgeworth thinking? Oh, for fuck's sake. Another witness, please state your name and occupation. Witness! Your name and occupation, please. G-O-T-C-H-A. What happened to that calm composure we had earlier? Oh, Edgy Boy, it's been what, a year since we last met, hasn't it? She's more happy, she's more happy to see me. I saw that poor with her testimony, but who knew that under that helmet, it was the Wicked Witch of the Witness Stand. I tell you, this time I know what I'm supposed to do. So today I'm going to tell you anything and everything. Two things I don't to do with that terrible crime. Miss Witness, that terrible crime is all this court needs to know. Oof, shush! I'm talking to my dear Edgy Wedgy right now. I'm not up to scramps. Ma'am, have you looked in a mirror lately? Yes, madam. No, 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 please, by all means, interrupt her. Please. <clears throat> anyway, Witness, your testimony, please. Let's see what they say, that you are hot headed nowadays. Not that I'm on it all, Edgy. Now then, where should I start? I just want a security detail at the hotel at the night of the murder. This is correct, Mr. Beck. It was a great job being able to see my dearie horn. It's almost too much for my little heart to handle. You mean you were a fan of the victim? Look, everyone was crazy over on guard saying he's cute in a fresh way or something. But not me. I wouldn't say anything so silly. After all, I have no interest in a little child like him. They are the same age! A real man, Juan Corita. Um, but those two are the same age. Anyway, as I was saying, I was pacing in front of his room that night. Very well, please tell the court what you witnessed the night of the murder. To me, Edgy Poo. Anyway, after the ceremony, I went to pace around in the hallway in front of his room. There was something I was interested in finding out, you know. Well, since I was on the job, I made sure to keep a good eye out the whole time. When someone showed up. It was mad. It was a man coming out of poor Juan's room. It was on guard. Mad on guard. He's trying to sneak his way out of Juan's room. Oh, Lord. Hmm. So Mr. On Guard came out from the victim's room. See, it has to be him. He's the murderer. I see. Well, Mr. Wright, you can begin your cross examination. Hoy. You say that, but. I guarantee you that this outfit, compared to later outfits you'll get on the stand, will be quaint in comparison the more we play these games. It'll be quaint. This old bag, what was your post on that night? The lobby. I was supposed to be help set up for that for the stage that trifling show. I refused to help a lot, you know. It was for that level headed sam led headed samurai show. I'm gonna check out a few of these na the nails. Maybe it was a good thing the show didn't go on. Besides, I managed with the glasses and people looking hot at it without me. So I thought I'd take a break and spread my wings a little. That's when you went to hang around the victim store. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, but you know. Like I said, people have brought dumber things to this courtroom. Like the murder weapon, for instance. 
were interested in, and just, and just what was that? It's not some little thing I can just go around telling everyone, you know? Ma'am, you are in a court of law! It's top secret between me and Juan. Ah, I need you, of course. Mr. Edgeworth, what is this thing she was interested in? I have no idea. I just thought I just gossip, Your Honor. Gossip? But she proved relevant. It should have proved relevant. And always have a friend appended to her testimony later. I shouldn't force it right now. And the witness staying in the vicinity of the victim's the entire time. Oh, then would you tell the number of people who went in and out of Miss Creator's room? I have no idea! I wasn't bored when you count things for those who didn't pay attention in class. That's why ever since I turned 20, I quit keeping track of how old I really am. Now, Bobu, I know you really like this lady, but I cannot stand her. Yes, well, that would explain why your age is not included in the report. In any case, the witness then saw someone, correct? Who in the world was that? Not to say. This sort of information has been carefully guarded from the masses, Sonny. You're in a courtroom! He came out of one room. It was. He was. Yes, he was. Ah, I'm too scared. I can't say his name out loud. For what I wouldn't give to Francisca's whip right about now. Oh, it would be incredible. I wish she was here. I cannot stand this woman. Saw my client? Are you sure about that? Yes, he. Really? No, I brat. When I say I saw someone, I saw that person. Yeah, sure you did. Like when you saw, um, you know, Will Powers. I get a sense of deja vu. Maybe we would repeat of last year. I should delve into this bit deeper. Uh, let's see. Am I just? Yeah, it might be. I don't know. I haven't actually... I don't know a whole lot about ring culture. Uh, let's see. Person's face, what the person was carrying. Is there by... What the person was carrying. Person, what was the man you saw carrying? Which hand? His right or his left? Um, ah, oh, this is a real mess. Oh, my God. Uh, right hand. Ah, oh, he, was, he wasn't carrying anything in that hand. Then how about his left? Empty. There's been a whole lot of nothing. So, Mr. Rich. Simone just now wasn't relevant anyway. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Of course it wasn't. Because it would make sense he'd have anything in his hand. <laughs> because. He could have put the button in his pocket. The knife was stuck inside of the victim, so... Hmm. Let me try to think here. It's not too far-fetched it wasn't that important, I think. I'll have to try another uh, question. I don't know if that's important. It's not really that important after all. Uh, let's see. Maybe mine is tendency to jump off topic. Change to the topic. <sighs> Sweet old lady? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's ask a different question. Try the person's face this time. Please tell them record about the man's face in more detail. You don't need me to tell about his face. That soft, gentle look in his eyes and his effeminate lips. His right eye covered by his silky hair, sparkling, shining teeth. His teeth were shining? Well, he's shining all around this week's pinup poster, dearie. This week's pinup poster. Wait, I mean, I don't care who looks in this week's issue. You stay with. Please say what you saw that night. What? On guard's face is the same no matter where it is. You know, you whippersnapper. Alright. I guess it wasn't important. Uh. I guess it's just the, uh. Okay. 
Let's ask the last one. Is what he was wearing. Person's clothes. Please tell the court about the man's clothes in more detail. What a troublesome man you are. Really, as if something like that matters. But it does. Um, now what was it? Oh, yes, it was that thing. What thing? That gaudy thing he's always wearing, that racing jacket. Oh, he was wearing that at the detention center, too. That thing's meant for nothing but seducing women out of their pantaloons. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. We have a different sprite now, but I still don't think it's that important. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking... Uh, I'm not gonna look that up. I was going to, but I decided against it. Um, he was at the award ceremony, but it was like a 15... It was like that half hour break, right? I'm trying to think, because... Let me see here. So, it was from 6 to 8, and there was a, a break in between. And he was found dead... when? 8.15. 15 minutes to... Hmm. Oh, right! Yeah, he would still be in costume. The, the, the post-show, right! Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah, because of the post-show. Why would you get a... Your costume for the post show. Of course, it was important, Your Honor. And perhaps you'd like to point out what part of that testimony was important. Don't you see it, Edgeworth? Your Honor, I request that what the witness said about the jacket be appended to her testimony. Hmm. So you're going with this, but all right, witness, please. Oh, well, I don't like the bad one anyone for that reason, but if I must. Okay, so. Right, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn it, it's not it. Okay, I thought that was the case, but no, it's not. Okay, never mind. Okay, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. I thought it would be that because you'd be in costume for that. Oh, right, yeah, I guess it would be the button. Because it would be in his... There we go, yeah, you're right. You're, you're, you're big smart. Miss Old Bag. What? Don't say my name for no reason. You know what this is? Ah, it's button number two on Gemma Ninja's costume. Now I know she's obsessed with that. She didn't fight in a single glance. Give it here! Give it here! You don't give it to me, I'll punish you with this! Wow, oh, she really is a diehard fan. I want a button covered in blood. <laughs> this button was discovered on Mr. Ongard's body during a full body search. See? See? This button proves you're in a shadow of a doubt it was that rascal Ongard. It was caught up in the pleats of his nickel samurai Hakama pants. See, see? And I'm God as a nickel samurai. Witness. Now, it may have just been me, and I do have an active imagination. But just now, didn't you just say the defendant Matt on guard is wearing his usual racing jacket? Ah, I'm so sorry. Sorry you judge people based on what they wear. Now hold your tongue still there for one second. What you saw in actuality was not Mr. On Guard the man. Was Mr. On Guard the Nickel Samurai? If you think about it. You know, it feels like we've been here before, don't you think, chat? <laughs> it feels like we've been here before. They're really one of the same anyway. Miss Old Bag, this is a very important point we're talking about. Did you, you think so too? Ugh. Well, it might be something worth considering. Just say it's important to agree with me for a change. Witness, think carefully and try to remember as much as you can before you testify. <sighs> Alright, if you insist. 
I see the one sighing, not you. Who I saw. On oh guard, on oh guard. Yes, now I remember. Here goes Samurai. That's right, it was Nico Samurai that I saw. <laughs> this would have been convenient for him to wear his costume during the murder. I had to go to that post ceremony show right after the crime, you know. So it wasn't one that Nico Samurai costume was stabbing poor Juan. I. I knew it. I knew you'd say he was inside that costume. What? Do you think there could have been anyone else inside that costume? Don't be a bad little boy thinking such rude things. But. but the possibility does exist. Ah, oh, even today. I told you there is no way it was anyone else. How do you know that? Because I said so, and what I say is the truth. Well, I guess! At least you just a delightful witness as she was a year ago. Mr. Wright, you may cross examine the witness. Do I have to? She's clearly, like, doing the exact same thing again. How old is she? L let me show you, uh, Tia. Whoop! Fuck, I pressed the wrong button. Wrong button press. It happens. I meant to do this and then that. No, this. There we go. My bad. Listen, it's, it's my brain being bad, but yeah, look. <laughs> Just question marks. Okay. Does he stop counting it, too? Would you please get on with your testimony? <laughs> Watch your language, young man. What sort of tone is that to take with an elder? No. You do not get to forg be forgiven for anything when you're trying to just, you know, put someone behind bars AGAIN! <laughs> like, oh my god. How have you used this person as a witness twice? Like, just get her out of here. Put him in her home or something. Uh, what? He's actually singing. Someone help my poor ears. Guys, can you please do something about this racket? Witness, I'll give you a piece of gum later if you just be, if you'll be good in six effects. <laughs> oh man. That's such a funny fucking thing to say. Remind me to send you a thank you note. I think you know later too, Edgeworth Old Chum. Okay. Be a little more careful with your testimony, please. Not too long ago, you say he was wearing his racing jacket, and now he's not? Not too long ago. Let me ask you this. When you were itty bitty, what was your. <laughs> I can't stand this one, huh? My dream, huh? Well, I want to be Judge Wagner, hero of people's court, so what? 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 Be what? What? No. I can't stand this woman. Like, we're in a court of law and she's just being hysterical and just bring her, keep bringing her in. It's like, I, can I go home, please? <laughs> this whole game is theatrics, Phoenix. <laughs> I got an achievement for that! Oh, I got an achievement for that nonsense. Why would that live? see his face, of course, but there's still no advantage for him that I can see. In fact, you'd th you would think that the costume can stand out all the more. You are such an annoying child, you know that? You disagree with everything I say. Isn't that what you're always doing to me? My god, I mean, it was more troublesome than the change in and out of his costume. Is there anyone else scheduled to appear at that pre-ceremony pre show? Pre-ceremony show, rather? Well, all the contestants were supposed to go on stage in a friendly gesture. That included the Jammin' Ninja. Of course it included him. That's why when On Guard came out of Dear Juan's room, I didn't give it a second thought. Hmm, I see. Well, anyway. So let me ask you one last thing. The person you saw, it really was Nickel Samurai. As showy as ever. Haven't I been saying that from the very beginning? No! Can I throw you in the towel yet? This world, huh? There's a contradiction in her testimony and seeing plain sight. The question is what this contradiction means for us. 
Okay, so let's see. Remember, it's like a samurai. Would have been him for the convenient for the costume during the murder. I got that post ceremony stage right after crime. So what do I have that like um, contradicts this? I'm trying to think here. So let's see. Oh, right. So I think about this. Oh, wait, no. Adrian Andrews' fingerprints are on the glass. Never mind, never mind. That doesn't make any damn sense. Okay, um... Oh, duh, the knife. Take a look at this. Yeah, so it's a knife. Big deal. If you're trying to scare him with that, I'll have you know it won't work. No, no, that's not my intention at all. That's enough to use in the murder, correct? Your Honor, you know why this piece of evidence is important to this case? You don't even have to ask. It's because the defendant's fingerprints are on it. Is that what you're driving at? That's exactly what I am driving at. What are we driving at? In whose car are we driving? Mr. On Guard really was Nickel Samurai Costa at the time of the murder. Then it's impossible for his fingerprints to have left on this knife. Actually, it would have had to wipe, wipe the finger. Actually, would have wiped all finger fingerprints on this knife right off. Oh, that's right. The nickel samurai wears gloves. That's not... He probably took off his gloves right before he began the stabbing. And why would he do something like that? To leave his prints on the murder weapon? There's no way he would do something like that. However, there's one possibility. Let's hear your possibility. It's very simple. The defendant went to the victim's room while in costume as a nickel samurai. At that time, the defendant had no had held no intent to murder. He was probably just going to relax and talk to the victim about the stage show. Which is why he took his gloves off. Hmm, but the murder still did take place. It's well known that there was bad blood between the defendant and the victim. Hmm, yes, I have heard that before. But that's still on hint that... Let me get this straight. The defendant went to the room and he had no intention of killing him. Now, up to this point, uh, there is a contradiction. Of course there is. This theory contradicts something in an earlier testimony. What are you babbling about? Now, for argument's sake, let's suppose Mr. Ongard was the killer, if that's the case. I think it's impossible for the killer to have gone in the room without intent. Because the victims are not intent. Um... Because he has the knife, right? This knife. This was used by Mr. On Guard at dinner. Yes, we did establish that. Which means that if my client was, in fact, the killer, then he brought this knife with him when he went to visit Mr. Karita. I suppose. However, you just said it yourself. At that time, the defendant held no intent to murder. If that were true, then why would he bring a knife? He wouldn't, would he? Which means, Mr. Edgeworth, your theory was flawed from, some, from a supposition one. And one more thing. If the murderer was wearing the costume at the time of the murder, then there should be the glove marks up in the knife. Which means the defendant's fingerprints should be all over it like bees on a hive. And that brings me to my final point. The knife was planted by the real killer to hide their identity and mislead us. Order! Order, I say! Order in the court! Was this knife really planted by the killer? Why would the murderer do such a thing? I guess the frame him. It's the frame my client, Mr. On Guard, of course. Aren't you forcing the interpretation a little hot, too hard on this one? Look who's talking, buddy. We just established the witness saw the Nickel Samurai in costume. And if that were true, then there shouldn't be a single fingerprint on this knife. Ugh. Witness! Must have made your life a tiny bit more difficult, huh, Ajipu? 
Witness, did you or did you not really see the Nickel Samurai? Well, I guess at first I might have forgotten, but... Are you saying you mixed up Mr. Ongar with the Nickel Samurai, his character on TV? But I mean, I can't really do anything about that now! Look, I was waiting around in front of doors because, well... Well, I was waiting around for the Nickel Samurai, that's for sure. She wasn't waiting for the Nickel Samurai. Alright then, who were you waiting around for then? Hmm, not stop secret to anyone outside of security. I have a feeling that you were waiting for Mr. Juan Carita, am I correct, witness? Ha ha ha. Do you think you are a sad amateur with a terrible case of nearsightedness? Amateur? Me? What am I an amateur of? So if I was waiting around in front of the victim's room. But it doesn't sound like she was trying to catch a glimpse of Mr. Carita. Maybe. Phoenix! I mean, the old bag was waiting around for that person. Hmm. That's who, that's who I think Mia is hinting at, and it's certainly possible. This old bag. You were waiting for this person in the victim's room, weren't you? Uh... Oh, yeah! Adrian Andrews! Oh, God. This is Adrian Andrews, the God's manager. Why would the defendant manager be in the victim's room? It seems that this that the latest greatest rumor in circulation. It seems that this is the latest rumor in circulation around. Hmm. Oh, this is. Well, this is. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I see. The judge seems to be really into the article. It's even been called such a thing. And this manager with the initials A A. Are you saying it's Adrian Andrews? Without a doubt, the witness thought so as well. <laughs> hmm. Looks like you found me out. Well, that's fine. I can throw away this whole sworn to confidentiality stuff then. Witness? When the world are you? Watch out, Phoenix. I got a bad feeling about this. A very bad feeling. Lots of information. Some very secret information from a certain source. That's why I was doing my own little investigation. In secret, of course. But what for? Oh, just for myself. Personal reasons and all that. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, how will we proceed from here? I didn't want to do this. However, I cannot simply let this point slide. I see. Very well then. Witness, please testify about this secret information. Get ready! This is gonna take the wind out of you, youngins! Sure, I'll give a little hand anyways. Really, it's not like we're 10 years old. Alright, let's see what she has to say. How is she talking with this stupid, like, you know, fishbowl on her head anyway? And on guard is one evil, evil man. He thought he could ruin poor Juan by causing a huge scandal. So to do that, he sent his own manager getting close with Juan. I cannot condone such dirty tricks, so I took action! Oh, and this is top secret. You got that? Nobody else but you and me know yet, okay? Oi, oi, oi. Woman with none of the facts in court with someone with, like, half of the facts. The defendants and his manager. What a distasteful topic for this court. What? Nobody's above gossip. And isn't there a saying? The truth is never pleasant. Never heard of that one before. Mr. Edgeworth, what about this Adrian Andrews person? We have looked into this matter and found the truth that the article proposes is, in fact, baseless gossip. Hmm. But should this be true? And this proves that the defendant did bear ill will towards the victim. This means I have to smash this rumor once and for all. So then, Mr. Wright, you may cross him in the witness. Be careful. The old bag seems rather excited right now. That's right, unguarded little bit of average foul, average foul blooded youth. Well, as the old saying goes, you gotta burn old bags with fire. Time to fire up the apple burners and hit the highway to the danger zone. Da -da 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 -da. I just noticed that they're just fucking breathing in the fishbowl. God, I don't want to do this. But if I do this, I have to actually reveal information about her, and I don't want to do that. Alright. And then just another tidbit of gossip, doesn't it? But you can't just ignore it either. It makes her kind of bad either way. Well, I don't think I heard anything out of the ordinary just now. There has to be something to catch on. Yeah, and when I do it, I'm gonna, find, I'm gonna press the heck out of it. Okay. You don't have any proof that Mr. Ongar did, any, did any such thing. He must be suffering from shock. The shock of hearing the truth. And now, since you're in such much shock, you can't do anything right! You're right, I can't do anything. Boy, I wish we could do something about you. Alright then, Sonny, show me what you've got. Can you show me proof that Ongar didn't build, bear any ill will towards Juan? Like you push me around that easily. Yeah. Alright. Okay. 
Who's my Pruitha? Mr. On Garden? Oh, I guess it doesn't really have anything. Alright, I fucked up. Uh, let's see. I don't have anything. I obviously could have taken out. I fucked up. Never mind. Oi. Yo, yo, yo. Leave him alone! Oh, God. Shut up. Give me chicks. Okay. You can't just say something like that without proof, it's just slander. It's true. Everyone was going to getting intimate with poor Juan. Look, it says so right here. Manager of the Stars, Miss AA. But the name of the magazine this came from is Gossip Land. What? So are you saying that Gossip is all just a pack of lies? Yes. Hmm, what do you know? I suppose next to be saying me that news is 100% the truth. It's not, but that's beside the point. Um, that's it, Sonny. You can't just stick me with the news and gossip. <laughs> yeah, discrimination is bad, right? Discriminate. We're not doing anything like that. Anyway, on guard will never give me to say touche. Oy, oy, oy. Scan, what do you mean by that? You're a demon. Yeah, 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 whatever. Honestly, what are they doing? I don't know, I wasn't asking what the word scandal means, even I know that much. Well, Vanguard thought he could own a monopoly on popularity. <sighs> so, what do you mean by I took action? Like I said, oh, it's was waiting way close to the crime scene. Once that slimy woman came out of Juan's room, I was going to capture her and teach her a good lesson. Many young to me. So she didn't come to the door that night. Alright. Wait. What? I'm a busy woman. Take time when the kids is over. Secret information no one else knows yet. If that's true, then how do you know this secret information? Huh? Well, that's because I'm a pro. Yes, that's it. Yeah, sure. It's a secret. Even if you drill the hole in my brain, you'll never find out. Uh. I'm pressing further. I don't get to go home today. Um, Edgy Poo, what are you doing? Help me! <clears throat> what do I have to do with this? Just do this for me, you'll get a reward. Hmm. I don't want a reward, we don't need much of a choice. Alright, the witness could have gotten her information from anywhere. It's even possible that it was spontaneously made up inside the witness's head. Any rector's neon reckless blabbering? We don't know where the information came from. It's quite a waste of time folks on this line of questioning. So, it has to be there. No. No, it couldn't be. Nah, wait. It wouldn't be Lotta, would it? They don't like each other, I thought. Oh, I don't think they ever interacted before this, right? I guess it's either like Lotta or Francisca, if it's like an actual person. But let's see. No sh- okay. Okay. I think I know. Wait. Okay, okay. Okay, I got it, I got it. It's just- it's inside- it's what she wrote. So, no one else is supposed to know the secret information, correct? If that's true, then why do you know it, Miss Old Bag? Why are you looking at me like that? Stop that! Witness. I hate to say it, but this is how you came to acquire the secret info, correct? The investigative photographer, Lotta Hart. Oh yeah, some of that mischievous girl. She reported that she had lost a certain note she had written to herself. She reported such a thing? On that piece of paper, she had written down some of her outrageous er, impressions about the relationship between the victim and Miss Andrews. What? Outrageous ideas, you say? No, 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 I said impressions. Then, then, then everything around this piece of paper is completely meaningless? Ah, that's it! That's the note! Ah! Ah! 
no, this is something completely different. This is something completely different. This is my touching list of groceries to buy. Yeah, sure. Hmm. And you were the one who took Mrs. Hart's note. I'm a huge fan of wands, that's why. And for Miss Puffy-haired Whippersnapper, she's working with that evil on guard. She said to herself, on guard, I'm a psychic. But she was so happy, smiling like a silly duck. I was only checking what she had written. You believe me, don't you? I'm really trying to help out like an angel I am. Yeah, sure. Clean a little piece of paper. I've never taken anything else before. You really should come with a... Uh, uh, you should come with a supply of cheese to match your vintage wine. I'm saving that. Fucking... Every line in this game is gold. Holy hell. It's so good. I'm saving that forever. Yeah, they are just husbands or just, you know, like I said, poor play. Okay. Well, it was only a piece of paper. I suppose you can just have a look, you know, this just once. She's really sorry. Did I forgive her? Pile on pressure is probably like, you know, the wrong answer, so I'll just I don't want to hear her continue to run her mouth, so I'll just let it go. I guess I should forgive her. <laughs> what the heck are you to decide you should be forgiven, you delinquent? Uh, number of endearing qualities, zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Phoenix, can't go easy on her, she's no frail old lady. Yeah, you should be pressing her until she gives in. She is really scary today. Yeah, she's right. Witness, you said that the only thing you stole was that note. Is this correct? Stole? Listen, why don't you listen more carefully, you annoying brat? I, only, I say this piece of paper from a tr terrible, lonely trash can, that's all. You're lying, damn it, and I can prove it. Are you putting my credibility under scrutiny again? Yes, Miss Oldbag. I don't believe this note was the only thing you stole that night. Miss Oldbag, that note was with a camera inside its case, wasn't it? A camera? Yesterday, Lotta Hart was raising a huge stink over her camera. She kept saying something like, My sweetie, $1,600 camera disappeared on me. Why... Why... Witness! Is it Gramps? If you have the note, then it's only logically the camera, too. Gh. <sighs> he found me out again, Sonny. Is this the camera you're looking for? Ah, that's... What? Even though I look like this, I'm still a person, you know? I still eat meals like you would fall in love and I borrow things from people. Um, I think your definition of borrow is a little off. I saw that woman's business card, and that's when I noticed it said, Slimebag Celebrity Photographer Extraordinaire. Well, when I saw that, I had to know what sort of pictures he had taken. I'm a professional security guard, it's my business to know these things. Can she just, like... Can we just arrest her, please? Check this camera's photos. Hurry! Let's examine them at once. Oi, oi, oi. It gives me a migraine. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, what do we have? There's only one photo that seems relevant to this case. Please run it to the court. Oh, well, there it is. This is... This is Nickel Samurai. See, yeah, I told you, that's the guy I saw. I knew that the witness was not lying earlier about this matter. Alright. What does this all mean, Mr. Edgeworth? The photo itself does not prove the defendant, the person in his defendant. However, in his own confession, Mr. Ongar clearly stated that at the time of the murder, he was still inside his Nickel Samurai costume. If that's the case, then Nickel Samurai is... Even is it so funny you're a hater? Bitch, maybe. But I'm also not wrong. <laughs> the defendant. Listen, there's a fine line between annoying and, like, funny, and you have to walk it very finely, and she just jumps off onto annoying and just keeps it going. How did it come to this? Then this brings us to the end. We've examined every piece of evidence thoroughly. Final comments, Mr. Wright? This court will consider them before we close. Do you agree to this photo as decisive evidence against your client? This photo really is decisive, and we're done for. If I raise an objection here and blow it, I could not put Maya's life in jeopardy. I can't make a mistake here. There's only one word out of this mess. This photo that Lada took. There's... There is something strange with it. I think I see her. I'm trying to remember everything. Like, what did the- what did it room- what did it look like? Cause... If that's, um... Juan's room, that he's coming out of... 
Then what's with the flowers? The flowers are different. Maybe you can be both. You can be both. You can be both. But she's not. There's there's something strange with this photo. I think this was coming right. Your thoughts, Mr. Edgeworth? I think we can agree that there's nothing strange with this photo. There's no way for the defense to bunk this photo, even with a bunker buster. Bunk with a bunker buster? That's the guy need to do, Mr. Wright. Um, anyway, please look at the photo one more time. I really believe you can honestly have nothing wrong with this photo. And you only need one chance, correct? Um, well, I don't know, on this photo. Can't let this chance go by. Let's take this photo from anyway. It's all out of focus. Why can't you take a good shot even if I see when it counts? Now then, let's hear your objection. But this photo is strange. I know the bear's right there. Maybe it's not it? I know it's the flowers, right? There was way more stuff outside of his room, and no one had come to take it. But there's that bear right there. I'm gonna just... I can't save. I can't save right here. Um... It does, it, 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 it's, it's not really relevant right now to this part. Um, but I... Mm, I know it's the flowers, but I don't know how to prove it. Just go for it! Alright, um... It's definitely the flowers. Like, I, 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 I got lucky once, right? <laughs> but that bear... Take that! The strange thing is somewhere around here, I think. Somewhere? Somewhere? Around here? I think? Oh, uh, fuck. Well, I'm dead. Uh, Alright. God fucking damn it. Uh, shit. Where did I save last? All right, you know what? I'm gonna actually take a break for today. We'll come back to this tomorrow. <laughs> I have to. I want to take a break. It's been like three and uh, almost three and a half hours. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with uh, probably. Oh, uh, you know, what? I'm gonna play Sonic Battle. I think tomorrow. Um, if you like to stream, uh, stick around. We'll be back. Like I'm play. I stream every uh, every day week every weekday. Um, if you want to help me out or just you know let people know I exist, do so from uh, you know the stream here and you know here's a bunch of my money links. You should probably give me money through those instead of giving me through Twitch, but, you know. Um, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow for Sonic Battle. Peace out.